No. No, I was looking first for an adoption. I mean, you know, I'm in the orphan uh, street seed business now. Got it. You need, <laughs> you need a business to take it on. I need an adoption agent. <laughs> and then we'll need to figure out. There aren't out. very many businesses there. Huh? There's a gallery on the corner. On that block? Yeah, they're not going to take I don't think they would be interested. That coffee shop was so perfect right there. High for Lloyd, too high for Lloyd. And the too. yoga shop, Yoga 216. The loading, yeah. Yoga shop? I don't know whether the, the loading, the construction shop, right? Yeah. I know, but unless you go and you talk to them and you tell them you have to water and all that stuff, they don't feel it's, it's, it's a load, you know? Right. Okay, so question for you guys. Um, hi, there. So I, I'm trying to figure out, I think I had homework, Jessica, and I didn't get it to you. So if you can remind what were our tasks. Sure. Well, I was just going to wait for our, um, I don't know if um, Maria should be joining us and um, Lowell, are we, so my biggest shortcoming that I'm going to rely on Dolores and Janine and everyone else for is like appropriate meeting uh, protocol. Um, so I, I assume we have enough people that we can proceed. Yeah, I think yeah. so. How many, how many, are, how many people are on the task? Yeah, we're only missing two. So we're this missing is two. a quorum. We're yeah, nine. So we have a quorum then. Great. Okay. okay. So, um, so we met last month and we laid out a few different tasks that we would each take on, um, to review what those were in particular, it was obviously to review with your for those who are co-chairs or involved with committees to review the list of um, uh, past uh, budget requests and reprioritize those. To remind everyone, Jesse and the office created a essentially a worksheet online where you could put in, uh, reprioritize your past requests and add oh. new additional requests. Uh, I think at this point we have almost everything we need on that front. The second piece was to review the uh, statement of district needs. And I think that's where probably the, the most, um, we'll give out some uh, ex homework extensions um, because we still need to get some feedback on folks from that. I shared the link in uh, the email I sent this afternoon, just about an hour ago. Um, if you're not sure which section you were uh, had offered or are most aligned with, I can I'm happy to remind you. I know a few of us have already gone through and started editing that document to remind everyone this is where we can all kind of simultaneously edit. So it's a 365 link that Jesse shared. Um, Christine, I know you've made your edits. Thank you. I've made quite a number, though still need to finalize um, that. And anybody else can go back in. And Dolores, I'm going to guess that that's the homework uh, that might still be outstanding. And you can use between basically, I would say, the rest of this week whatever's left of it to go in. Just even focus on the section you committed to. Again, we'll take edits more broadly. Yes, Bert. Oh, you so oh. much. Oh, okay, nothing. Yeah. You'll get no, it done I, by I'm Sunday. I just needed to uh, be reminded what the homework was. That's so, sorry okay. about that. So that was I, that. I, need to, I'm, I needed to be reminded the method of the homework. Yeah, and before you joined, we were saying how it's so hard to find the link that you, you know, search the email for the term that you're looking for. So I'm happy, I did forward it this afternoon, um, but I can send it again to folks with their actual, we had uh, noted who was going to do which sections. So if there are any questions, I will send that back out to everyone. Please so do know that. What sections. So you want us, because I, I did my section. Oh, great. I looked at it, I took notes, but I didn't know I had a return it yes someplace okay. electronically. so if, if you're are, if you are able and i i, I believe okay. all of you are are capable i believe in you that you can make the edits in the document if for some reason you have a challenge with that let me know and we can make sure that they get okay. um, input i will say there were a, a, a number of typos and you know other small things i'm going to try to catch all those but certainly if you see things that catch your eye and they're not in your section given that it is in track changes you have the liber you know, feel free to also make those changes and adjustments in the document. Um, and to remind everyone, the letter is talking about FY22. So we want to eliminate any references to previous uh, years. So I will send that back out. Um, hi, Maria. Um, so for the bulk of um, our discussion today, recognizing that 
I may want to come back to the uh, the document in a in a little bit or at the end um, is is to go through the capital and expense priorities and essentially come up with the list that we are most comfortable with presenting. That as uh, Jeffrey, how did you say the you used your hands to the, the bringing all the lists together. Uh, the reprioritizing, the hopefully it's less punching bags and more um, more coalescing um, around our priorities. More hugging. Right, right. Um, I did want to share, um, and, and hopefully you all saw, we can pull up on the screen so we're all looking at the same priorities if that's helpful or if you prefer the dialogue face-to-face, -face, we could do that too. Um, but I did want to just review for those who maybe didn't have a chance to look at we did do um, this survey. And so, you know, as we think about ranking our priorities, and of course we wanna represent for those who are co-chairs, you know, wanna represent the work of your committee and their priorities. I did just wanna remind everyone that in the statement of district needs, we share that our long-term priorities as a district are affordable housing, neighborhood preservation, and traffic and air quality. And so we have, you know, you guys more than me because I've not been at this very long, but have I think CB4 has been pretty consistent in sticking with those as our three driving principles um, of, of areas of focus. Um, the survey which we did um, over the last uh, several weeks, it's now closed, uh, received many hundreds of, of clicks. Unfortunately, not everyone completed the survey, but we have almost 300 people who did complete the survey. Um, and with that, we asked people to first identify the three issues that they believe need expanded funding. And so I just want to offer these as sort of, we should stick, I think that our longstanding priorities matter, but that we should also acknowledge um, what people sort of on the street are saying right now. And the overwhelming number um, of, 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 of responses were for healthcare and human services followed by education, youth, and children, followed by public safety and emergency services. So as we look to uh, prioritize and, and take these, take all of these various requests on the capital and expense side we have, I think we should just try to keep all of these different, uh, both the longstanding, but also the, the sort of feeling of the moment in mind as we make these choices. Um, Alan, you have your hand raised? Yeah. Um, and then Mark. In, rega in regards to our list of priorities, I don't know if you want to discuss it now, maybe at the end. Uh, I think we, we need to make a change on the three um, priorities. Um, You're saying the three longstanding priorities? Yeah. Um, I think education has to be in there. Um, I don't know if we, again, I don't know if you want, want to discuss it now or maybe later on. Let's get through some of the grunt stuff maybe. Yeah. And then we can come back to that. Yeah. I, however you want to do that. Yeah. Okay. I think um, I, I want to, you know, certainly we'll hear from others, but I think, I think in part as we kind of see what's predominant, you know, or dominant in these capital and, um, and expense priorities, I think we'll see some trends, kind of some evident trends, and we can look to see how, whether or not those are again, kind of reflective of the moment, or if these are long, or if these are the reflection of longstanding challenges and equities or other things that need to, to shape our long-term priorities. Um, Bert, you wanted to? Yeah, I'm interested in that healthcare as number one priority there, that in terms of the survey, um, were there any specifics other than just healthcare? Sure, so, um, well, the survey, um, so it's healthcare and human services, we, the survey then, and actually, Jenny, can I share my screen for a minute? Is that, um, can I just hit share screen and? You should be able to, but let me know if it doesn't work. Okay, well, you guys tell me, can you see, see my yeah. screen? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I just have the, the, we just closed the survey yesterday. So I, this is just a very preliminary report of all of the information. Um, you can okay. see here 185 respondents of the 258, um, uh, said healthcare and human services. It's really 185 over the 719, but since then anyone can only click one thing once. Uh, it's really shows you that over half of the respondents picked this as one issue of importance okay. to them. Um, going down though, um, we had the opportunity to rank like which of the ones you said were important were the most important. And then to fully answer your question, 
um, there are about a dozen pages or 10 pages of comments related to this issue. Um, and as I, I think I shared at the uh, Health and Human Services and Housing meeting this week, there are a lot of things uh, as you dig into these comments that reflect, uh, you know, homelessness is in parks, yeah. for example. People picked parks, but they talked about homelessness in their comments, or they picked city services, but talked about um, homelessness again. Um, so I think at this point, given that we've just closed the survey, we really need, we, me, whoever else cares to work on this, do a deep dive on these comments. They're literally, you can see here, 60, 50 pages plus of comments. Um, and our thinking was that we would then take this um, and kind of bring it back to each committee, less that this would necessarily inform any budget request uh, at this time, because it is preliminary and it, these issues may be, haven't been heard by committees themselves. Um, but the, the committees can take them and use this as an opportunity to be less reactive. Sometimes we just wait for issues to kind of show up to us. And here we have 50 pages of comments, kind of we can tease out what those trends are, but far in a way, having read them uh, most, most recently a few days ago where we were, I mean, I think homelessness is the most yeah. Look, I write home and there are 150, homelessness is mentioned 150 times in this document. So um, far and away, I would say that that is the most significant issue that uh, at least people are writing about. I, again, I don't want to conflate that with a budget issue. Uh, Christine, you have your hand up? Yeah, so it seems to me that the top line that you showed is really not totally um, reflective like healthcare and human service, there would be maybe more answers to that than homelessness. Where is homelessness in, presumably it was in housing, but it's in healthcare. Exactly, so I think, that's the, I think that's a good point. Like how we in the end did not define these categories in the questions yeah. at the top. And so people made these selections about their own interpretation right. of what these categories are. So in fact, the comments I think are more guiding more yep. of a guiding factor than these, uh, yeah, than these big categories. But again, I would say that, like, at least for my preliminary reading, and like, you know, I'm, I'm mindful that we're like, we've just closed the survey and we're having this budget conversation, and we probably should have had more time between them. But far and away, the biggest issues are homelessness, right. followed by I would say sanitation. There's a lot of talk in here right. about dirty streets, waste basket. Right pick up um, and then of course education and and just the general children what are we doing what's our plan kids aren't in school kind of narrative right okay um i'm gonna just stop sharing for a second uh, Bert, yeah yeah it just though they're talking people are talking about homelessness sanitation underlying all of this the subtext and, and talking about hospitals or, is the pandemic. Yeah. Sure. And the economic effects of the pandemic and the economic effects reverberating through the city budget. That's what we're hearing here. That's what we're hearing. But we haven't even tell That's what I'm hearing that we're hearing. But we haven't, I agree with you 100%, Bert, but we haven't even felt the budget, the, the true reverberations of the budget. Uh, oh, yes. I, I'm aware of that, yes. Um, and I get nervous about adopting sort of the top three that are that have sort of been laid out um, in a reactive manner in this way. I'm not saying that's what we might do or, or that we're being reactive, but I think that this survey was a first in a really significant, um, fantastic way. But Jessica, as you pointed out, we did find early out the fault in the fact that we didn't um, define the umbrellas. We have the umbrella category, but we don't have the bullets of what falls under the umbrella. So- oh, sure, yeah. No, I, I think we should be looking. I, I wanted to share the survey, the top line, because it was part of this sort of, it came out of this group that we said we would do a survey. Um, I think that the, the, the most actionable uh, piece from having now completed the survey will be to bring that back to committee chairs and to say, okay, what are we seeing here? What are the trends? Regardless of what those 
topics, what the headline topics are, what is the work that's really been revealed here, and, and then what is the committee that's best suited to work on that? And but, um, but I, yeah. I, I still think that, you know, we are in state of COVID and post-COVID, right, recovery, and I think those new priorities are very much in line with the COVID environment. So I, I don't think there is anything wrong with saying, you know, in this environment, uh, these are the priorities. And we want, you know, we want for the time being very, be very focused on that. And then go from there because the message is really, as Bert says, is to the administration is like, you know, don't you dare uh, cut funding to education, don't you dare cut funding to homelessness, and don't you dare cut funding to sanitation. I mean, if I summarize in a very big way, this is what people are saying. Right. And so I, mean, I think, I think it's, it's important that we reflect that in the context of we are in a special time, this is not business as usual. And, and therefore we could have say, these are our long, these have been our long-term priorities, but right now this these are the priorities right and i think the question christine is just where do we do that because we have a statement of district needs certainly it can go in there um i don't know that it should go in the letter that we send on the budget and the statement of district needs as a special covid you know yeah caveat at the beginning saying look this is not business as usual here sure that's right a and then, you know in two years we may decide okay we are out of this where are we now? So, right. I'm going to do Dolores and then Alan will go to you. So um, exactly what Christine is saying is, is what we should be doing. We should be creating a carve out for what is happening at the moment because the ongoing budget is also responding to the crisis. Um, I think that that should be in the letter, that should be at the beginning of the statement of district needs saying in this unprecedented time, these have been the, the, the major concerns that are impacting our community in real time. And we need to ensure that the budget uh, protects um, uh, some of, uh, uh, has, has some protections put in to ensure that we don't worsen these these problems right. and then i think that the main categories alan i i i actually think that it, it may not be a good idea to reprioritize our long-standing um uh district concerns because they're going to exist i do think that we highlight clearly education has been a spotlight because we haven't been able to figure it out um that could be the COVID response and I think that also it does need to be more informed as throughout this year, we get more input, which we will from uh, our partners uh, that are in education. And your committee is very strong in terms of getting that input. I think that if we repositioned all of the priorities that we've had historically, um, I think it makes it very difficult for us to still advocate for some of these items that are on the list that we wanna make sure that stay on there once there's actual revenue left in the budget. Um, Alan, uh, I, I look at it a little bit differently. Um, given the financial situation, everything has been happening with the pandemic, certain things are still happening. Transportation is still working. Um, bike lanes are still being built. Uh, there's extensions. You know, there, there, there are things that are being affected. However, they're still being done. Housing is a problem, homelessness is a problem. Education, kids are not in school. Um, devices are not, you know, they're, they're not learning. So when we talk about our district needs, what are the long-term effect on all of these items that we have as priorities? Because sanitation, so the garbage doesn't get picked up um, on a corner for a couple of days and people throw their stuff out there. As funds come back in, sanitation will straighten itself out. When you have kids out of school, when you don't prioritize or somehow keep kids in school or make their learning abilities um, to overcome the deficiencies of not being in school, this is a long-term effect that's going to affect our city where, where it's so with kids education-wise and social-wise. So it's not just that um, you know the garbage isn't getting picked up and we have to keep that in there. I think I, I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying is you have to prioritize the need going forward on what is going to continue to maintain our city 
and that's the the the, the youth of, of of our city. They have to, and, and that is a priority. I think that has to be highlighted in some way, not yeah. just as a letter of some kind. It needs to be a priority in terms of what we feel going forward is going to be the needs of our community. Thank you, Alan. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna let Leslie and then I know Lowell, you, you've raised your hand here. So I'm gonna do Leslie and Lowell. But what I do wanna say is I think when we dig into the actual, like this list, there is there is quite a bit on here. I mean, my every task force, uh, every committee, excuse me, has put in their top five. Let's have this conversation rooted in how are we prioritizing these pieces? I think these kind of more meta framings and where they go, we can figure, I, I wanna believe we can figure that out still. Um, so let's, I think we should save our, save our fight, so to speak, for, for these priorities. Um, Leslie, and then we'll go to Lowell. Um, I just want to say amen to what Alan said. Thank you, Alan. Um, and I also do want to say, I, just as a bigger thing, I know COVID aside, I, I think as a philosophy, the survey was interesting because it gives us a little bit of a window on what people out there think. Um, regardless of COVID, obviously COVID was a, a big factor in their answering. But I think sometimes when we get together in CB meetings, in committee meetings, in full meetings, it, it's a little bit, it's a little insular. And I think like we have our ideas of what's important to each of us and our specific, I guess, rallying cries. But I think sometimes out there, what our residents think are important to them might be a little different. And I think this gives us a little bit of a window and Christina's right. It's obviously, you know, COVID tainted, but I, I do think for what it's worth, there should be some sort of balance of listening to what the residents think and what our own, um, I guess, issues are when we go into a committee. No, I think that's fair. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, first of all, I wanna apologize for being late. Um, I agree with what I heard Alan say because it, a lot of this is going to depend upon November 3rd because you know it's clear that what uh, Speaker Pelosi wants to do in terms of providing money to cities and states. Depending upon what happens November 3rd, that will either become part of the federal budget or it won't. And if that money is coming in, like Alan said, easy problems like the trash getting picked up because they cut back sanitation will get fixed. And I think the education piece is a harder thing. So I think part of our challenge here is that What's going to happen after January 20th may change where we're going on all of this. And I think we should be looking at the things that are not the easy fixes, that just throwing money at a problem won't solve. Something that's going to be more in depth, that where there's more something, something more systemic that has to take place to fix it other than just throwing money at a problem. Okay. Um, as if we didn't have enough concerns about this election. Um, let's, um, I think we should turn to this. Um, I don't know if folks have a preference or past experience, maybe Jeffrey, you can share like with starting with capital or expense, does it matter? I always um, like starting with capital actually, expense tends to be um, a bit easier. Okay, um, so let's dive into capital. Um, do people, ha I can pull up the list um, that Janine or Janine can pull up the list that was sent around earlier to look at them side by side, or we can look at each other. I don't, whatever, do people have a preference? Do they have it in front of them? Pulling up the list would, like a, would be nice, only so we could see what you guys are, the wording right. and everything you're referencing, but that's just my. Okay, no problem. And sorry, Maria, before we do that. Oh, I was just gonna ask, I have up the capital budget priorities top five. That's what I should have up right now? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, Janine, do you mind pulling it up or do you want me to? Um, I can pull it up. Is a document that I sent you earlier today? Yeah, exactly. Okay, one second. Um, I want to also acknowledge, of course, I was grateful for Janine for stepping in. Uh, Jesse has had individual conversations with every one of you, I imagine, and your committees. Um, so uh, we're going to do our best here um, to, to uh, parse this out. And Dolores has also agreed to, to, to help me and be resident expert, but um, you know, we'll do our best. Oh, wait. It would be good if you could, Janine, uh, shrink oh, it so okay. that we can see the first, you know, all the number ones in one place. There you go. Oh, yeah, go a little more. Yeah, go a little more. So we there we go. Ones, and that would be really cool, right? We have yeah, all the number we'll, ones. Here. Go a touch more. 
we touch Thank some you. more. Uh, I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all. No, of them. you're missing Debbie. We can't. There we go. There oh, we go. Got it. Right. Okay. So I don't know if this format was done in the past because this I didn't do this with you all last year. Um, I wasn't on the budget task force, but uh, what's been done here is um, all every committee what makes up this top five list is every committee ranked their priorities based on a combination of past um, past uh, listings, things that made that on the list last year, combined with new topics, and then ranked those. And and what we have here is the one the number one priority across all. Uh, six committees. And so uh, the thinking was that uh, the top 25 or, or 30 are probably our most important to get right. Uh, obviously, we hope all of them get funded, um, all of them being our favorite children, but that we should start with uh, really looking at this list. So um, so the first one is easy. You have a, a duplicate on five and six. I know. Good catch. So let's um, let's get rid of one. So, right, you'll notice here HHHS and uh, uh, Chel uh, Chelsea Hell's Kitchen land use. Um, those are the same five and six in the columns are the same. How, who is going to make notes so that, because if we say remove this, add that, etc., we probably need to see it on the screen, right? Um, so, Janine, do you want me to take you? Well, I'm taking notes on hard copy, but if, if Christine, what you're asking is that Janine like delete things in real time, is that what you're hoping? Yeah, for? yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then you can delete. If we, change, if we change a number or an order, then, you know, yeah. do we So get... let's delete six because my understanding, uh, without putting favorites here, my understanding is that typically uh, land use doesn't have budget requests. Um, well, well, that doesn't care. We don't care. Okay. Transit back like snow. Okay, and then and then I want to acknowledge that of these um, of these remaining five, two um, are housing related. Two, uh, one is transportation, one is snow, and one is school. I want to just clarify that I yeah, I sort into the titles. That's to invest in the sanitation truck to uh, have snow removal in the bike lanes. Yeah, okay. that was Thank I'm you. on W. Maybe Jeffrey can explain or um, because I'm on the parks committee also with Jeffrey. And I don't remember that was even the, that was definitely not the first uh, that we voted on for the, the very first priority. I don't even think that was in the top. Leslie, it was, was it was it? In the survey that I sent around and everybody had to rank them. And I too, like you right now, uh, unsurprising, uh, was surprised to see this as a top rank. Um, but it was, this came up, I think this first came into our budget discussions, Christine, maybe you know better than I do, four or five years ago. Um, but it came around, up last year and then, uh, you know, it was, I don't know, I think, I think the trans and WP here, I mean, I mean can we look at number two? I think the first three. What have we done? Hell's Kitchen Park was just funded 400. Is that Hell's Kitchen Park, no, Jeffrey? That, something else. Leslie, that is Hell's Kitchen Park, but that was that $400,000 not, does not get you a park renovation. Yeah, but. And so uh, I, I, I'm not gonna. I, wait, can we, can we, can we adopt a protocol where we mark the one where we agree? And leave the one that we don't agree open. Well, can you? What about we all say, "Hey, I personally like upgrade school. I like the elevators, and I like the, uh, you know, the HPD thing, right?" So I would say I like those three. The other two, I would leave it open for the time being, subject to moving it around. That that would be my. So let me just clarify, you're saying like essentially here we have the ability for this whole green area to be one, two, three, four, and five. But you're saying like, what are we prepared to lock into our top five mm -hmm. and mark right. those? And then everything else that we're not prepared to lock into top five, move, leave blank for now. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. I, I think that's a helpful way to start moving forward. Are there any objections to that? Great, okay. So, um, so who, I mean, I also have opinions, but uh, who, who, who's comfortable committing, who wants to share a straw man for 
what's staying in. Christina, was your suggestion? Do you want to I was to saying upgrade school from ACES, right? Replace elevators and other affordable housing requests, which was adequate capital for HPD at the Harborview Terrace. I think those three in my mind are strong number ones. Right. And the others I would leave open to discussion. Okay. So Janine, let's just put a one and a one and a one for now. Uh, or even one, two, three. I don't know if we are comfortable going. Are we comfortable? Yeah, the other one, one you can you can call that. I don't know. The other ones you can uh, put a number like A and A. So we remember that they were in number one, but they are not selected yet. You know. Okay. Well, I mean, we have column B, so we'll know that they were in one. But sure. No, but we could okay, have so one, 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 and then A A, right? Something like that. Okay. Anyone have any you're putting concerns? it on that side. Okay, cool. I see. Anyone have any concerns with this as our locking in education, upgrading the school, the elevators, and uh, uh, HPD, uh, Harborview? Okay. No. Great. I'm going to encourage that we go to our next uh, yeah. next grouping then. Um, and we should come back to those that we determined were A's yeah. for this purpose. Okay. You guys giggling over there. I was are you laughing about at your me? side chat. At my <laughs> She's giddy because uh, education got number one. No, I, I, I said that he snuck in that snow bike lane. That Listen. Yes, yes. I would have, I would, I would have never done that. Come on. Focus. I, I didn't, Focus. The first time yeah. that, that, Jeffrey, Jeffrey tells me he wants to be done by 8.30, so I'm going to take us back and be focused. Okay. Um, at, least a quarter, at least a quarter of nine. Can we go down? Hello? Yeah. Uh, no bike lane. The what, language what? that we had last year was additional holsters for snow removal specifically for the bike lanes. Right. Yes. I apologize. So let me just say publicly, I put it in the chat. I shrunk some of the descriptions um, when There's I was no working on, on the project and I didn't re-expand the proper language when I sent it through. So I apologize for that in this case. I put it in the chat on what the, what the full use of it was meant to be. It doesn't mean that we're getting bike lanes in the snow. Right. <laughs> it has to do with the vehicles. Sounds like a yeah. song. What's the truck? Sanitation to right. properly um, remove and snow that. from the bike lanes. You right, can right. save that for the musical. Let's Please, we spend, we spend two hours I last year this on the same subject. <laughs> well, like okay, let's go. It was a transportation, wasn't it a transportation back yes. then or no? And you can see I didn't yeah. dare put it in. Now it's mixed <laughs> with the parks. It was on the park. I don't want to get into this. Okay, let's number two, please. Yeah. Yeah. We'll it, was it. it was on so ACES. It was on ACES street On that, maybe it should not be a priority at all. I'm well, not sure that that's, that's actually put the case, an a. That's why we have an A on it. Okay. okay now, on the second I think line, we should do this alphabetically. Line nine is uh, duplicates. So that's good. I like that. Can you remove that? Uh, yeah. So our, our, our Chelsea Land Use folks had a robust discussion, I'm told, and great that they wanted to affirm other, other priorities. Um, so we have, uh, Marie, are you okay? You're on mute, but you're trying. Yeah, I was just struggling trying to fix this to make it look right. Okay. <laughs> the okay. Zoom. Um, okay, so we have, um, again, housing. We have our tow pound. We have another education request, uh, specifically um, something I know Leslie's worked on, but uh, oops, so there are questions she should speak about it. Uh, okay. Can I, can I raise a question on this one? Alan, yep. Okay. Um, I just want to read. I don't know if you, if you got this um, from Kit. Um, these licenses, as, as far as I can understand, are renewable licenses. Don't, it's not a one-shot deal. So actually what we're asking, probably this should be in the expense in operation. portion. Because uh, you have to do this every year. Um, mm. Also, the fact that um, this TCRWP um, on classroom library, we should not specific. I'm reading this from from Kit. On classroom libraries, we should not specifically advocate for a product, especially TCRWP. 
Its lead creator, Lucy Calkins, has finally, in parentheses, acknowledged their approach does not match what research science tells us about how kids learn to read, blah, blah, blah. It goes on to leave a- uh, okay, Actually, Alan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you stop for a second because I think okay. we then need, most importantly, we need to remove this from capital and need to move it to yeah. expense. So right. Janine, okay, good. can you okay. literally just copy and paste it into, because I think the priority still exists. We may need to change the wording, and when we need get to, to change that the section, wording, right? Okay, we can talk cool. about how to right. how to make that more appropriate in a more appropriate ask. Cool. I have Thank a question. Um, the first line item, which is eight, adequate Sunday multiple. Uh, I thought we had that last year, and it was already coming through. Uh, so it felt like it was more continuing support. Is that accurate or not? Ah, Christine, this has happened I for the past three years, if I'm not mistaken. And then it gets bumped back up. So, well, I spoke to Joe about it. He didn't mention that. That so, Joe is that saying it, to stay because it hasn't been committed. Right. That he didn't mention that there's been some funding for that. Okay. So what I'll recommend is we keep it as is. If we, we can work, uh, I'll make a note to follow up with. Um, with we can follow up with Jesse or whomever to make sure right. that that's not true, but I think we should act as if it is, let it have its place in the list where that may be, and then we can always bump everything up one if we need to. Hey, Jessica, can I go back to the education that we just put at expense? Yeah. Um, so I don't know, the need actually was uh, classroom libraries, actually physical books, like they need, they don't have the physical books to fill their libraries. So although the digital subscription is expense they don't have libraries in their schools or at least adequate ones now um that was their major ask at least district two's major major ask so is that a capital a one-time what do you mean by books? what do you mean by library the, an actual physical physical school library well that's a big big difference from what is described here yeah well, I think it's, I, it's, we do have on number three for ACEs is additional books for students to practice at home and lending libraries. Is that is that what you're referring to? Yeah, I guess it was split up. OK, I guess there was. I, I'm just reading off what District 2 sent me as far as the superintendents, their priorities. Mm -hmm. um, so we did have that as a capital, but it's going to be now in the yellow section, like the next section. I think we should like. So can we move that up then? I guess to the second capital ask, right? From. Uh huh. I'm okay with that. Is everyone okay with that? I'm not. I'm, I'm just not understanding um, what's going on. I didn't on. understand. So I'm what totally Leslie's confused. saying? Sure. Just mm -hmm. what Leslie's saying is that on currently what is line ten? It's essentially that was their second priority. We're mm -hmm. saying it's not actually your second capital priority. It's going to go move into the expense side. Can we replace their third priority as now their second priority? So something that will be further down on line 15, can that be bumped up to this section? Like our second capital ask. Yeah, yeah I think that's logical. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So now we're deciding between basically, um, uh, we're deciding for the next, we have, we have two spots in the top five, if to, to frame it that way. We can choose between affordable housing, the tow pound, Hell's Kitchen Park, um, or this book number, line 15, books for libraries. So what's going on with HK Park? Sorry, yes, yeah, so that's Hell's Kitchen Park renovation, a request for a renovation of the full park, not just sort of piecemeal. That came out of committee uh, to Can you remind me, Jeffrey, where it is? Hell's Kitchen Park is um, 10th Avenue between 47 and 48 on okay. the east side of the avenue. Yes. Okay. Well, I think number okay. four should be Sorry. the ask for HPD. Wait a minute, but why don't we... What, 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 we we can select all of those, right? I mean, I would I would not select HK Park because it's it seems that there have been a lot of upgrades over the past recent yeah, years. I, and just I, to put I, that in perspective, I, Jeffrey, I think when they recently got this four hundred and fifty thousand a few months a month or two ago, 
I think even the residents, including myself, were surprised. And they're like, we just renovated that a few years ago. Yeah. And I know what you mean, you, like an even bigger renovation. Um, but I think even residents were like, wow, that's a windfall. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I think it's astounding that we're upset there's money being given to renovate yeah. a park. No, because I'm hugely in favor of money being given to renovate parks. And so I think this, this fits into the picture of improving a small park in Hell's Kitchen, which is a park-starved neighborhood. Um, that Jeffrey, sorry to interrupt, but the park is actually in very good shape. And I do think we knew, do need to think about um, that health and human services is impacting yeah, yeah. this community. And to Alan's point, that's going to be such long-term effects. Dolores, I'm not arguing whether or not the park should be number four. I'm arguing with the fact of what seems to be a desire to remove the renovation of Hell's Kitchen Park from our budget request. No, no, no. Oh, my oh, suggestion my was God. my suggestion was that we we nail down the first three and we leave the HK Park as a floating decision. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think HK Park should be number three or number four. That right. wasn't at all my, okay. my so standing. So we could say in the follow, as, as the process we discussed, is we can say line eight, uh, nine, and, and, and not 10 yet, because we don't have a 10 yet. But, uh, you know, eight and nine are definitely locked in in those positions. I think we're all on the same page that we just were thinking we should move it lower. Know. Jeffrey, isn't that what are you also? Yeah, I think so. I guess I just envisioned like some of these things shifting out of their color categories also. Right. Like, I agree. You know, I agree. I'm not sure. Something why we from can. yellow is going to move into blue, if you will. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. Yes. Especially because people have already prioritized one, two, and three. So the idea that something that's on five will become a one seems unlikely because the committee themselves put them lower. Exactly. So I think we could go ahead, again, just for starting to move things into their place. I'm not locking this in. But I think we can actually go ahead and say, what are the things we want to move up to four and five? I don't Where think we, we should do that yet. Maybe that. we should just lock in the things which are in there, and then when okay. we have the things which are not locked, then we can have then we can have two discussions. One is, do we change the order, and then do we replug some of the things which we are left out? Okay. Okay. So but it sounds I, like we are committing to. Well, I, can one. I just suggest something, Jessica? I, to me, yeah, it makes more first. sense and it saves us time if we instead do what you were suggesting, which is we move something up to four and five. If we're trying to get off at 8.30, I mean. Uh, okay, let me just, Bert seemed like he's concerned, so. I Bert. have a concern about the tow pound. If we're moving, why do we want to move the tow pound out of there? Who said we do? Well, we're, it's in tow pound number four, and we're talking about putting something else in four or five? No. 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 I'm confused. Oh. I'm okay. confused too. Draw. I'm very confused. I thought I thought what we were doing is, is for each color, you know, the set, the number position we agreed to what should be in position one one one, and then in position two two two, etc. And then once we have that, then we can look at whether the order is good. So, okay, so I think I don't um, want to confuse Christine, you have a lot of experience doing this. <laughs> I'm going to say let's let's do your way um, to to piggyback on what Maria is saying. Let's see if we can kind of there's we we got a little caught on a few things that we all agreed on. So we don't need to spend so much time arguing with ourselves on things that we agree with. So let's like try to move more quickly and locking things in where, where there is clear agreement. Um, so with that, I think I'm hearing that we should put twos next to HHHS, to HPD, NYPD. Um, and for now, this ACEs line is coming out but if we could drop down to line 15, uh, we can consider if we wanna keep that in group two. Are we okay with that? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I think yeah. given some of our initial comments anyway about the importance of education, it seemed like there was a lot of nodding. It would seem that that feels like yeah. line 15, we can go ahead and keep in group two. Um, Are you okay with that? Classroom libraries, okay. Um, I, I just, I just want to, you know, Leslie, just want to get your opinion on this from what uh, Kate mentioned. Schools are no longer using 
mass libraries. They're basically going into the classrooms now. So they want to fund books for individual classrooms. And that's up to the teachers, I guess, to see what kind of books, a mix of books. But it's not like used to be these big old fashioned libraries, the big desks, and you ha have all these shelves of books. So from what Kit has um, mentioned, schools have gotten away from that. And this is more, as this says, um, classroom libraries in the future, which is good. Okay. Okay, so I do want to just, sorry, Janine, the, the line where you just put move to group two, that actually needs to go down to where it says bump up to second capital ask, because we're not, we're not moving that trans. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I think it's the one. So which one is it? So it's not that one, move, remove that text. And then where it says bump up to second capital ask, yeah. uh, we want to put a two, uh, a two there. Okay. Great. Okay. And then going back up to lines, if you can, line 11, I think we should put using our same format, we should put a B because we used A. Is that right, Christine? That follows mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. nomenclature? Okay. So now in tier three, we have um, another downsizing a shelter, ADA compliance uh, for pedestrian ramps. Mm -hmm. A uh, ferry service, um, and uh, we're going to remove. Um, well, we haven't removed. We've moved up number two, and then Jeffrey, just because you use some kind of opaque language that maybe not everybody knows, do you want to say anything about the Packer truck? Two factors. One on the Packer truck. It's the purchase of a new Packer truck for garage sanitation garage four. The caveat on this is that we didn't yet get confirmation that this was funded. Jesse thinks it was, but Steve didn't get back to us today on whether or not um, it indeed has been funded. Um, and then just on the, the, the Clinton Hell's Kitchen land use, the ferry thing should not have been in their... Uh, in CHLU, right? It's yeah. A, it's a transportation thing. Trans or what WPE it's always lived in. Well, okay, one so or, one or the other. I think if Jesse were here, he shared with me briefly that uh, they were taking a very uh, expansive view of the needs of the district and not just looking at their specific committee. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it came up. I, I think that might have just been in the wrong place. I don't think it came up at our meeting. Right. Oh, yeah. So Jeffrey's right where it's been all along. Uh, so we should just be changing the committee name, not the yeah, not that it doesn't belong there. Yeah, correct, correct. Got it, it. Didn't come up in in land use. Got it. My apologies. Okay, so we, uh, Janine, can we make that note in column A where it says uh, CHKLU? Uh, I defer to you guys. What is that? Um, is that w, the WPE or transportation? It should be transportation. And then Christine, is that, does that, would that become your fourth priority? Yes. Okay, so we need to move that to... <coughs> A different section. Can I ask the people from HHHS? I'm just curious. Is this downsize the shelter at 25th Street? Just why that that particular one? I'm just cur curious. There's a few of them. What do you mean? There's a few. I can take that. Too many. Why? What do you mean? There's a few. That shelter had about. Uh, if I remember correctly, about 300 beds there. 324. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm thinking. Yeah, that's a permanent shelter, right? Yes. Or no? Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm confusing temporaries. My fault. My bad. Oh. Okay. Um, so, Janine, are you moving? Are you moving line 14 to uh, the next section? Uh, we seem to have lost Janine. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we, we lost the. She's back. No, she's back. Yeah, oh, she is. Great. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. Let me reshare. Noel's looking very handsome. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you were going to move uh, right, line 14 from, from priorities three to priorities four, Janine. 
cut. I'm sorry, I missed that last portion because I got kicked off. Which one am I doing? I mean, is I take line 14, cut okay. line 14, and uh, uh, paste it, insert it into category four. Okay. Or do we just make, is it better to just make a note? Yeah. All right, okay. so put a four next to Oh, yeah, to put, it? put yeah, yeah. Uh, four, four, right. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, so we have downsize, pedestrian, uh, ADA, uh, yeah, and uh, school library, and then track. Are, are we concerned on how this reads, how the language in these boxes reads, or? Um, I am comfortable going back with anybody who's interested in editing specific text. Afterwards, later on. Afterwards. And because then, obviously it can't just say Packer truck. Sorry about that. But no, no, even, no, I, wasn't, even I, some of the I, other. I wasn't talking Packer truck. I was talking to, you know, the, one of the ACES things. I'm not yeah. touching your stuff. You you do whatever you want with your stuff. Uh, it, I'm going to put out a straw man here. It seems like HHHS would go up. Um, we've already put the libraries up. Personal, I, mean, I think access did. and ADA. Maria, can I, sorry, Jessica, can I just uh, ask a question on uh, the, the, that HHHS BRC sure. question? Maria, I just, I thought that had really become much better. Um, and are we going to, uh, it's an optics question. Uh, there's a whole lot of dealing with optics in the neighborhood right now of everything that's going on in the 30s. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that shelter has gotten to really be um, not the issue that it was when it first opened five or six, gosh, yeah. six or seven years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, I would yeah. I would agree yeah, with that's... Jeffrey on this because I think hasn't the community come out in support of this? They didn't want it downsized and they didn't want something or other something like that. Much much better is my understanding the the community yeah. like approach to the facility, and I'm not saying it shouldn't be on our list. But at the same time, maybe we should think about that and whether or not this this has uh, is has outlived the the ask has outlived the desire of the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's actually a good point. I know it has gotten better. My understanding is there are less beds there currently because um, of COVID. Um, but my assumption is it would increase, um, you know, when there's a vaccine available. Um, so I guess I need to think about that one a little bit more and talk talk it over with some folks. Um, I think the most important thing here, though, is going to be establishing a new family, a permanent family shelter in the district because we don't have any. The family shelters we do have are all actually temporary. Um, so so you, can, you can always change the wording if you. Yeah. Think. You can always scratch no, the but first we, line. We, we have not. I don't think we have had a letter uh, a resolution to ask for. What do you that. mean, Christine? What I mean is that we have not seen a letter from HHNS asking for such a discussion on uh, on the family shelter. Right. It's well, it's been didn't... here on the asks for some time. If we so, look at the language, it says downsize a single men's shelter and establish and add new family shelter. So is it, well, do we know, do we, are, we just are we just requesting the establishment of a new family shelter? The way I was reading that at, at the time, you know, long time ago, it was, a swap. was that people a wanted swap. to yeah, convert oh, that I see what you're one saying. I see to what you're saying. a family shelter instead of single men shelter. I think I that was my so, understanding. So maybe we should change this language and say convert the BRC shelter to a single family shelter. So That's let me ask you, so says. I have a question, excuse me, no, I'm sorry. I, sorry. I, ha I have a question, Christine, though. So even, or anyone who can answer, the way it's noted now, um, sw swapping, downsizing the BRC right. for a new family shelter, that's something that it, it didn't need a resolution for. There no, there were no many resolutions at the time. Years ago. Years ago, there were to, many. To downsize the BRC. And and yeah. and switching it to a children's shelter. But I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Sorry, okay. Um, downsizing doesn't mean converting. No, but it's asking both. It says, it's asking it's, both. It doesn't say eliminate the BRC and have a no. family shelter in place of it. Right. It just says make the BRC smaller and 
at the same time, create a family shelter. You know what? I just want to say though, in the we next know this box, language, over, in the I next box, it's an exchange. So I we, think we, it just has to, the wording. We, the next we know this exchange, language is design. so imperfect. Um, yeah, exactly. we've, we've gone back and forth. So mm -hmm. without, you know, being critical of all of the, the re like it's been through the wash so many times and everybody edits. So I would suggest that we go back to the original letters and try to understand what we were saying and make sure we have something on this and do what's reflective of the actual need right now and the moment. Um, I do recognize that that means we're not gonna be able to like put the final uh, icing on this cake tonight, but I think I think we should know what we meant here and let's go back to the tape. Mm -hmm. and see okay. what happens. Hey guys, it's Jess yeah. Odin. Hey. hey. Jesse? 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 Hey. 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 Oh, sorry, I'm a little late. Are you sure you want to, you can be with us? I know. I'm not sure, but I. Uh, no, go job. be. We are okay. It may have just sounded like we weren't, but we are. <laughs> <laughs> I can give. I can give. I, I, it's perfect timing, though. I can give a little insight into the, at least the BRC language. Oh, good. Please. Well, then yeah, get it. I, I just have Thank one you. question. If Jesse's on good drugs, do we want to trust him? <laughs> I wish I was. I wish I was. They, oh, that sucks. Nowadays, they don't give you. They don't. They don't knock you out and send you out of the hospital like like happy anymore. You know. <laughs> I hope they, you're they okay. Can't do that that's the old. That's the old days. Um, so okay. the BRC thing is actually uh, the result. That's a result of basically two long-standing requests getting combined into one. If oh. you remember. Years and years ago, right? So ever since BRC started, we have been on record for saying we think it's too many beds, it's too many beds. Right. So therefore, it's always it be, it became a budget request when BRC started, and it can continue to be. And then separately from that, there was the uh, right before a couple of years before I came on, they actually shut down a a a um. A, a, uh, a shelter with a family shelter with children in our area. The family, the um, I forget what it was called, but it, it's in the it's in the past documents. And so, at some point, maybe two years ago, maybe a year ago, there was this idea from the task force to say, okay, well, wait a second, why don't we just combine them so we don't have to constantly argue about which one goes above which and whether, and, and I'll be honest with you, the idea about BRC being less beds became, you know, a little bit less of a reality, you know, as, as the years went on. Um, and so it was about combining the two saying, remove, you know, we still think BRCs should be reduced, but, but we do want to have a family shelter return to our, to our area. And so that's the, that's the reasoning for that. So it looks to me that we should have two entries in this day and age, right? And one of them should be establish a new family children shelter. And then the downsize BRC would move way down in the priorities. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I or think do that we, makes sense. Or do we or, eliminate downsize entirely? Right. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't my know. Personal well, I was gonna. I was. I was just gonna say. I, I personally prefer it that it stay. But what were you gonna suggest, Jesse? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the constituency behind that is anymore. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't. I think we. You know, we Jessica meets Jessica, and then Barbara Davis before her have been meeting at the BRC cab every month. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, um, you know, uh, we successfully advocated for funding to get the rooftop open mm -hmm. so we had a place to do stuff. So, you know, I don't know really the, the you know, it, it's, I got to say it's a, the reality of the agency responding to that and saying, yeah, we'll reduce the beds when we've done all this other work. I, I can, I don't see it. But being a reality, I see it I as, as a political thing, I could understand it, but I just don't know if it's really that there's a constituency behind it anymore. Yeah, I was just going to add that from the meetings, um, it's not on the table as a discussion point. Uh, right. it's, it's about how do we work through this situation, not about a drastic uh, a redesign or, or uh, cutting of services. Um, and certainly in light of what's going on in other parts of the district now, it seems like the issues honestly are in different ballparks. They are. So I like Christine's suggestion then about um, 
the new family shelter probably being separate then from downsizing the BRC. And then let me just tag on to that. Would you keep that as this, what is a third request for your committee? Yes, the, okay. the family shelter part, yes. Yeah, okay. So I guess we're, if, if Janine, you can make that note here, uh, maybe even in column G, um, like not in that very column, but next to uh, line 12 or in line 12, that this is gonna be about establishing a new family shelter. And then I guess the question for all of us is, is that what we are moving up? Like, are we committing to moving that into the, you know, that's staying in our request for the third category? And are we comfortable doing that with yeah. ADA accessibility? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so three goes in row 12 and in row 13. <sighs> um, if you can scroll down, the Packer truck put a C, I think we're saying. C, yeah. Okay, and now let's move to the next group. What's uh, C then for? C is uh, like a placeholder. Oh, got it, okay. Still up for grabs. Um, okay, so here we have, um, uh funding for schools around secure i want to note for security cameras um we have again a ferry service um uh, which had been it's noted same above. One, isn't it? exactly it's yeah odd. yeah it's it's like like it's so we move, we move the one above we move the one on so above. janine if you could scroll up no uh, yeah yeah keep going Line 14, just- Yeah, line 14. Yeah, we can just delete that or however you want to. Uh, yeah, great. Okay, um, so this is the ferry service. Then we have Harbor View um, and um, this is- Continuing uh, support. Don't we have a new category which is called CS? Why is it in that list, right? I well, think that because those are the, our, our hots. Oh no, that's the slaughterhouse site. Never mind. I'm sorry. Oh, so yeah, why is that? Harbor, I think Harbor View was, you know, line 19, Jesse, 19. Yeah. yeah. I think that was in HHS. I have to look. So this, this I don't category remember. should be continuing support, this, which is outside yeah. so, of the brand. So let's go ahead and just mark, if you can, Janine, in line uh, 19. Yes. Let's just put CS in caps, so we'll know to move that over. Um, and then- Wait a minute, Harborview Terrace, we didn't, didn't we discuss Harborview Terrace above? I think there are- did, there, but it was for an RFP. RFP. The RFP yeah. for the private, the private development. This is for the existing oh, oh, development. Oh, got it, got it. Which reminds me, Jesse. Yeah. Are you still here? I'm here. Did, did you get an opportunity to speak with the Tenants Association at the different uh, yeah. HA developments? I did. I spoke with each of them, um, and I sent Jessica. I don't think I got to send it to everybody else because I just got most of them today. Um, but I sent uh, them uh, to Jessica. So Harborview Terrace. Uh, did have some additions uh, to their yeah. existing list, but their existing list uh, still remains. So, I mean, the way we did it was okay. basically put it all into one bucket, you know, all of the requests. So we can add into those, add into that list of, uh, she had a couple other issues that off the top of my head, I can't, I, 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 I okay. actually, I have the list here. It's, oh, it's okay. roof. It's roof, boiler, elevator, lighting, and retiling. But okay, I, okay. I mean, the, the priority is that, like we either think it's a priority or it's not. A, I don't. I don't think it meaningfully. Uh, personally, I don't think it meaningfully changes the nature of the request. No, I mean it's just basically the same. They don't. They didn't eliminate anything that we have here. No, they across the board they didn't eliminate anything. Um, uh, they had the they add. They added stuff to, they added additional things. It's just roof repair, upgrade boiler, new building entrance doors for both buildings and upgraded lighting for the public hallways. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think we can, uh, Jeffrey, is there anything you wanna say about the Chelsea Park truck or? No, just that that was definitely, had been discussed of recent and in past as well. So yeah. it's the track right. in the park on 9th Avenue. Priority to safety hazard. 
Yeah. Priority. Um, okay, so when we look to say what are the things that will definitely move move up and move into place, um, is there anything from this list that we are not comfortable moving up? This may be another way to say it. Is the ferry, I mean, is the ferry a priority compared to? Well, we need to compare it to other things which are beyond, behind it once we have that, right? You know what I'm saying? Just You're saying if there's anything below sector. it, we should maybe look at it in that sense. No, that's why what we were doing here is keeping yep. them in number four, and then we can resort everything and look what's okay. where, right? I, I don't know. I just... Okay, so it sounds like ACEs, I mean, personal. I mean, we're not doing a lot of sorting within, but school cameras feel less important than uh, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I guess we're at this category where it's like all a little bit more superficial. Um, I think we need a, a second a second pass to change the orders. You know. Have okay, we, so then why don't we review? Oh, sorry, Jesse, we're gonna say something. I was gonna say, have we gone through category uh, uh, um, priority five already? I apologize. No, not that. yet. We need nope. to do That's that. That's what first. we got to. Oh, okay. So why don't we? Do you want to just jump down there because we are kind of in this less critical zone, and we can look at them together? Um, yep. And do you want to drop down? So we have roadway maintenance. Um, Wait, line 22 is continuing support. Okay, so let's put a big CS there. Thank you. Then we have camera upgrades at the Fulton houses and the roof repair for Columbus Avenue Branch Library and Penn South Basketball Court. Janine, can you take out the 400,000 out of that, please? Out of the roof repair? Right. And just say and just say repair needed for repair because it's been combined with an elevator repair project. So now I can't really we can't really I can't de decipher between the two. So actually, I think I guess maybe want to include the elevator repair. Just say yeah. the elevator and roof repair. An elevator, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, we should look at uh, reordering things, right? If we have kept all of those. So let's go back to the top. Is that the way to do that? Yeah, I think that's the right way to do. Okay. You pick it out, which out of each category, one, two, and three, four, and five, how to order them. Okay. So I want to remind folks that are, I mean, it's up. I just, committee but our long-standing um our task force but our long-standing priority is housing um and that might be a way to lead off um we have two I... requests here yeah but we said we said that we were in a covid area so this year maybe we should have different priorities right okay so is our top priority I... education remote Actually... learning the, these, these all feel so minuscule to me in, in the age of COVID. Every single one on this list actually sort of falls flat in, in what I think is a, a need, the need for a grander ask here. Um, there's nothing about um, new services needed. It's all about existing um, improvements to facilities we already have. This doesn't ask for new affordable housing necessarily. It asks for subsidies and direct improvements to buildings that already exist, all of which are extremely important. But as the survey pointed out, as I think we've all realized, what, what new is online and, not, and maybe it's our process. There's nothing. Well, can I jump in real quick, Jeffrey? Um, so yeah. one thing with this top list is, uh, I think at least the ACEs is actually directly related to COVID, which is the remote learning and the funding for remote mm -hmm. learning. 
And so I will say that. I, I, I do think we have to remember though, when we originally came up with this, the way we wanted to do it was that we would still, we were still asking, we, we did still feel like we should keep to our yeah, I think I just needed to say that, and then I'm happy to shut up and let's prioritize. No, no, I, <laughs> it was a really no, I, of like, no I like it when Jeffrey goes. No, no, I, I, I agree with you, I, Jeffrey, and somewhat I agree with you because I think the committees naturally did that themselves. And I mean, I think Leslie can confirm that with from ACES that rather than feeling like, you know, oh, we should have this separate list of COVID stuff that we'd put in some other document that they felt it was a priority to make the COVID stuff to be the number one priority within our actual budget requests. And I think maybe a few of the other um, committees did a, something similar. So I do think we can, you know, we, you guys as a task force can decide, well, you know, with the survey, with some of the other committees doing that already. I mean, I know that you know, Clue sort of did that as well. And so um, it might not seem like it, <laughs> but they didn't relate it. They didn't completely connect it to COVID, but they did say that it was some of the stuff that they prioritized was sort of because a result of the COVID programs that were results of COVID. And so uh, I think you guys can decide whether you want to stick with the original idea, which was to keep with our, the fundamental or regular priorities and then have a separate COVID list or integrate it and try to say, you know what, for this year is going to be different. The first few priorities are going to be really connected. So to the what about we use the, 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 the major guidelines, the major message from the uh, COVID, which is essentially we agreed was pretty much education, sanitation and homelessness. And we start to prioritize those things first. And then we see where everything else falls. Like, you know, then we can follow our traditional guideline, which is, you know, housing and then transportation and then everything else. And well, so maybe that's the way we take all those things in front of us. And that's what we, where we elevate those items, which are more COVID related by putting them in the front. But this is, well, uh, well this is a capital. We're looking at the capital right now. Yeah, I think that the impact of, of the COVID and the pandemic is more prominent in the expense budget. Yes, than agreed. Than the capital budget. Yep. I mean, the capital budget is the long term. The expense budget is immediate, right in the face. Mm. Okay. Right. Some of these items, yes, like the remote learning, can be related to COVID. And some of this is really long term. I mean, the remote learning, you can say, well, maybe that's the way the future will be anyway. And so then it is long term. But some of these other items here, um, I, I just look at the at transportation stuff and the housing stuff. That's, that's now and next year and 10 years from now. Mm, yeah. So, so the COVID is well, let's get to the expense, because that's where it really, in terms of programs, in terms of personnel, in terms of services, that's immediate. That's the COVID stuff. In my mind, something, in my mind, I was just going to share that. Um, to me, the thing that's most immediate for me out of these, out of this green section would be the remote learning devices and the RFP for Harborview. Um, I was going to say the same. Like if you look, if you look at one and three, those talk about urgency and even Jeffrey, a little bit of your meeting the moment. Like these are potentially big things. I mean, it's not. It is. It is learning devices, but could even be sort of broadened if we wanted it to be a little bit more uh, uh, significant in its in its reach and and meeting the moment. And I think one and three are very timely and urgent. And also it will be long-term because now they're moving into these, you know, remote learning in some respect as well um, in a broader sense, not just COVID, but they're training for some sort of remote learning. So yes, definitely. And, and going along what Bert said, Bert, when you look at expenses, you'll see ACEs, one of the top ones is tech support for the devices. Okay. Which is what, like what you were saying. Let's go ahead and in G, I'm going to, put it in there and you guys can push back. But I think in G line three, a uh, row three, let's put a one. Sorry, where it's actually row three, not that's row five. Uh, 
let's put a one. In row five, let's put a two. And I would actually recommend that we then go to the next section and see if there are any other seriously pressing topics in this category. Are folks okay with that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So let's- Can I just ask, does anyone know, um, remind me, uh, an RFP was put out for Harborview, correct? Yes. But there were problems with it or something. But, but I, if I remember, the, the RFP didn't work. They, right. would, they withdrew it. Helen Rosenthal screwed it up. <laughs> Sorry, was that out loud in a recorded meeting? Okay. It's out loud and it's a okay. recorded meeting. Okay, Jeffrey. let's look at row six. So you're on the record. Does row six, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I meant eight. Sorry, it's so small, I couldn't see it. I mean eight. Um, provide adequate capital subsidy. Like, is this a significant, is this, is this number three worthy? Yes. Looking at two, two. You know, I wish we would move up the uh, BRC stuff. I mean, the, the, the homeless family, the stuff. family shelter. Oh, I'm yes. Much earlier yes. than that. I mean, that would I, be... think, I think that should be in the one, two, three, four priority. So, yeah. Marie, I do agree. You I agree. Your task yeah. your committee would feel comfortable about replacing, establishing a new family shelter with this MPLP and Sarah? I am pretty sure, but I should just. Well, I think that it does come like down one of to my emails. Um, Jeffrey, I think, that's a, I well, think the budget task force gets to, you know, play Yahtzee with the committee part. contributions, that's and true. then it goes to the full board. Yeah, okay. we don't. I have just want to board. check and make sure it feels true. appropriate. You're, yeah, true. Especially since they moved the Skyline Family Shelter out, right, Maria? Yes. The, the, okay. Oh, yes, they did. So yeah. let's make uh, G twelve number three. Where it says about a staff, oh, sorry, not G, F, sorry. Oh, you already did it, apologies. Um, and is there anything else up here that feels like a relevant number four, like urgent, urgent? Well, I thought the uh, practice when we changed that, didn't we? Oh, no, 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 forget about that. This is, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, and actually, sorry, Janine, I was also confused. It should be in G, uh, oops, sorry, that view kind of threw me off. Um, we need to somehow note that the family shelter is our is our number three. Right. Uh, G12. Yeah. It's number three, you said, right? And yeah. I'd like, if, okay. you, if you don't mind, I'd like to make ADA compliant number four. Okay. Uh, because they have been dragging, I mean, you know, this has been here for a long time and it's really important. Okay, so actually though, Jenny, can we put it in column G? Cause I think that's what we were doing above. We we're putting like the new rankings. So maybe move those comments to age and so we don't lose them. And yeah, and then put three and then is everyone okay with ADA being four for now? Yes, I agree with Christine. Great, yep. okay. Then we have. Uh, I do think li the kids, uh, the, yeah, we the need library. books in our libraries. Okay, so that's our five. Yeah. I think. Do we need to scroll up to make sure I, we didn't miss anything I, as a five I think, or a six? I think, need, I think you want to go back to, back to number one before you start going. Down you, further. You're going to go back to these lists and then have to re reorder everything. Again. Okay, so for example, right, like do you replace elevators number two? Does that come before or after library books? In my in my opinion, that's those are big. Going back to what Bert said, these are big, long projects that cost a lot of money. That are the, you know, number. You know, it's boilers, roofs, and elevators, which always are the big capital projects. They have a five-year plan. They're in there somewhere. Nietzsche is going to come back and say, uh, "We agree with this, but uh, it's you know, it's." You know, not funded right now or something. So, like are that. we putting that up or not? I would say it's. I think if in terms of proximity to what's going on right now, mm -hmm. I would say it goes after libraries. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else yeah. in here? Like we have this trans request number one trans request. Is that that feels like it's also after libraries? No, that can go really low. I mean, you know, 
Okay. I'm just I'm to everything else. Okay. Christine, I'm sorry. Christine, don't give away that much ground. I'll step in for you. <laughs> very low. I'm sorry. Keep Not going. <laughs> you got to keep that up front. Take yeah. Your just, just to, just to okay. clarify for Janine, uh, the clue one for elevators under G, right? That should be, f I think, f five, right? Or, or, or six. I, I think, think it's six. I think it's, we might be on six. It's a case yeah. Yeah. six. Okay. And so then, now you can put the uh, the trends. Okay. So we'll put number row six, make it seven. Exactly, seven there. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, that needs to be, we need to, let's see here. Sorry, I spoke too soon. Like now do we want to bring in affordable, this, this um, preservation loan and Sarah program, like yeah. is, that a, is that a seven? Yeah, eight. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, eight, yeah. I would say eight on that. And then the next the next trans item is nine. Okay, Topal. And then I have to put the WPE request in there of, of the bike lane stuff. That was- okay, So that's 10? That came back, I think that's 10. Okay, that great. What about the number, I don't- uh, Number, the help student practice reading. Did we move that? Oh, that went to expense. Okay. Yes. Okay. Lastly, what's your concern? No, that's okay. I, I mean, I, I think everyone knows my concern about that. <laughs> okay, let's, sorry, where did we leave off at 10 or 11? Uh, we have a nine. nine. We have a ten. Okay, we have a 10 oh, at five ten. Point. The 10 was the last one. Okay, now we have HK Park is up there, but is HK Park um, Can I put a wrench in this HK part? I was talking to Jeffrey on chat and I want to see what he thinks. So since we put out the survey to our committee and since HK Park has been at least fun funded, partially funded, something new has come up. It was, uh, I don't know, Jesse, I think you were at ACES. It was the dog park needed. No, it, it was the WP, it was the WP, the request to resurface the Do It Clinton the dog, dog park. park. And just in the vein of Jessica saying of the having the public be some sort of participant in this, they did come to us with a 500 person um, petition about resurfacing that dog park. And I think if you're talking about, you know, sometimes with parks we look, I'm not saying Jeffrey, we look for things, you know what I mean? I'm not, but but like to see what- well, like, I'm not gonna argue, we can swap this out with that dog run request, that's fine. That okay. that came just so the the task force knows that came up at our most recent um, yeah. WPE meeting, and so it wasn't a part of the mix in terms of the, what the committee considered. So it was put in as a new request, and it didn't rank in our top five. But the committee did write a letter um, opining on the request, so it's totally appropriate, and the board adopted the letter as well to have it 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 be in this mix for sure. Oh, yeah. good. I wasn't sure, Jeff. I was going to defer to you on the appropriateness. I guess then the question is, assuming we can make the swap, is this a number 10 or 11 wherever we are, or is something still further below uh, more important? Can we look at what's below again? Yeah. Great. Can I ask a question, can Jeff? Does HK Park mean, what does HK Park mean exactly? Sorry, you missed the chat and my, my shrinking of language before. Um, Hell's Kitchen Park renovation. Okay, so it's not, it's not, okay, it's not the DEP site park. And it's Correct. not the dog run, right? Got it, okay. No. Right, the dog run is DeWitt Clinton, FYI. Uh, okay, so what we have, we were just asking to scroll down, I'm mindful of time. We have um, this um, uh, expanded- I mean, I would think that the, the school ex construction authority is, is a higher level than the, the dog, the dog park. Yeah, the, the dog park should be down, I was just saying, it should be down. I'm not saying it should be up. I'm just saying instead of the Hell's Kitchen Park. Okay, and so let's Harbor go ahead and, and make the 11. Paris should be up there. Yeah. I don't think we can do all of it today. We need, we need a second meeting. <laughs> uh, we may need a second meeting. Sorry, Jim, yeah. can you scroll down? Um, okay, so we have we're, we're looking at 11th, 11th, 12th, and 13th place here. We have the security cameras, a ferry service, and these uh, upgrades to uh, Harbor View. So, I would say obviously I'm going to Harbor View followed Harbor by View. Park, then ferry. Okay. If we're going to consider those there. 
Yeah. Okay, so let's make uh, yeah. that line uh, 18, 11, I, I think it is. One column over, if you don't mind. Sorry, Janine. Great. And then up uh, two, we said that's 12, and then down. So, right, we said school cameras and then ferry? Correct. Okay, that's right. So, and 12, it says this one 12 not though. Should yeah, we put the, the 8th Avenue by Clan above the ferry or not? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the school cameras is 12 and then the ferries? The ferry actually no, is going to hold off on the ferry. Line 21. Oh, let's just get, we're confusing Janine. Yeah, we, sorry. What do we want? What do we want the school cameras to be? Oh, 12. that's number 12. 12, okay. And then the ferries we're leaving blank for now? Yeah. Let, let's go back and find what was it, um, Jeffrey, you just said that should go above that? The 8th Avenue bike lane, num line 21. Okay, so that's 13. That's 13. Well, can I, can I push something a little back on that? Just because it seems bizarre if we're going to do Harbor View up for the RFP, then we do Harbor View for their for mm -hmm. their repairs. Mm -hmm. We also have we also have Elliot Chelsea repairs and full repairs. So I think. Oh, I see. To be honest with you, I think if we're going to do Harbor yeah. View repairs as number eleven, I think we need to do Elliot Chelsea and Fulton as number twelve and thirteen. And yeah. Then yeah. yeah. They all okay. Should be, they all should be together. Essentially. Great. So I think those must be further down. So let's let's make. Harbor View 11, and then, that yeah, that one's right. Sorry, that's correct. And then scroll down further and let's find the, uh, it's row 23. It's yeah. 12. Yeah. Yeah. And was there another one, Jesse, you were referring to? Yeah, there's Elliot yeah. Shelton. I don't know if it made it. Your Chelsea, we already did it. I don't know if it made the top five though for from from uh, what uh it wasn't what, Elliot Chelsea, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh interesting. Okay, but your made, recommendation would be anyway. that we add it, right? I would add that as number thirteen. So if you just want to put go below to oh, line twenty six, yeah. And put in number thirteen and just put in uh, mm -hmm. uh Elliot Chelsea mm -hmm. uh, capital repairs. Uh, as number thirteen, that will that'll that'll suffice. Can you verify it's not at the beginning? I was I could have. So that was the elevators for everybody, right? There was one else that has everything. Uh, so it wasn't the, a so specific development. The, 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 the issue, right? So Clue did elevators for Elliot Chelsea, but then there's a separate. See, this is the this is the thing I was trying to say at Chelsea's gland use. Then there's a. Uh, there is a separate list of stuff that Elliot Chelsea TA has okay. said. They've also included elevators. So what well, I think we'll do is just combine the two and make it the combined number 13, if that's okay with everybody. Which actually then moves it up to 12, but we'll deal with that later. Was the, I think the elevators, can we go up, take, take a look at that language? It may have said in Chelsea mm -hmm. developments, not in necessarily Elliot Chelsea. No, I don't, where is it? It was separate. Broken elevators, elevators. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Well, it says disrepair in yes, Chelsea yes, public housing. Chelsea public development, which is both which of them. Is, right, which that's everything. And Chelsea, Elliot. So I think we should just say in all, all public housing in our neighborhood, in our district. In our district. Mm -hmm. But then if we have the, the broken elevator for Elliot Chelsea in six, why is everybody else in 13? No, we're going to, that's what I was saying. I think we need to, we need to. Sh but need to everything sh will shift yeah. accordingly, so I think we can do this offline. No, I think what he's saying is that change the request and make it for everybody in our neighborhood, and then uh, agree. Everybody, everybody's in six. Okay. This is so you leave it as six. You say everything. All all elevators across all elevators across all right. Heart, right. all nature development. Fine. Right. Right. Okay, so we're removing eleven, twelve, and thirteen. No, I think you're keeping. No, that's something. I, I would keep it. I would keep it. 11 11 12 and 13 as being the individual capital repairs from each in from each uh, right. oh i see except yeah, for the yeah, lobbies and lighting right. and right. Right. Different uh, in the elevator right. we're not changing anything we're just changing the language of number of number five or whatever it was yes okay good yes okay oh. um are we putting the cameras well actually we should like let's 
12, 13, 11, 12, and 13 are the cameras. No, you mean the school camera. School camera. The school camera. Can we actually start back with um, row eight? Because we have, I think row eight is also not indicated. Oh, wait. Like, I want to just go from the top. Are there any we've missed? Like, where does <sighs> Hell's Kitchen Park fit in? Is that still below all of this? May I ask a question? Yes. I think we're, we're placing that, not replacing. May I ask a question that uh, Eugenine sort by row G, and so we see where we are? Great. OK, sure. Good idea, Christine. Christine has many titles, but I have always referred to her as a spreadsheet queen. <laughs> um, and so. Don't, don't sort the top. You're going to mess it up. Stop, oh. stop, stop. You have to start at row three. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. And cut, take to G, to G and down. Yeah. Uh, no, sort by column. Yeah, it doesn't have a header. So column the last G. One. Column the last G. One. No so data that. headers and column G. You have to uh, remove the there. data headers. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Sort by column G, right. Okay. Yeah. And then remove this level. No, that's it. That's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. that's it's irrelevant. Okay, that's the way it's that's good. good. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Uh, so what did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Spreadsheet. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> okay, so we have ages, several housing, transportation, ADA compliance, uh, books, elevators. Uh, we have this number seven. Is number seven the right number seven? Yeah, that should go further down. No, I thought we had said that seven, that's what we wanted. Right. Well, Bert wants his station. Okay, go ahead. I think Jeffrey- No, I thought, I thought um, but there was something else that she want, that Christine said was gonna go above it, right? Or- I thought the uh, ADA stuff was above yeah, the it. ADA it is above it, it is. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, leave it, the, leave it the way it is, okay. Okay, uh, housing. Topam, uh, bike lane. Oh no. Uh, bike, oh. no. We Please. lost the note. Whatever. I need to, Janine, let me put the language that you can copy for it so that way we can we stop referring to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm putting it in the chat, Janine. Okay. And you can just replace that. There you go. Increase funding. Okay. Then roof Increase repair. Funding. Right. Uh, this is for, wait, which one? This is for the bike lane one, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so replace what's there now with this. Uh, you can put it in in uh, D. I yeah. put it in, I put it in D. Okay, okay. I call them D. Oh no, I'm sorry, hey, Jeffrey, I hate to say, we did, we have this. What? We have this. This is being funded. Yeah. Great. All right, great. So I love plan. removing things from this list. But every time we ask the question, they say- Hallelujah. But wait a minute, Jesse, we're, we're sure we got the- Jeffrey, you're not getting two. <laughs> well, we need more than one. <laughs> But we'll start with one. No, I want to know the, the brand and I want a picture of it. Every time I ask, nobody wants to tell me. It's called the Jeffrey Christine. Uh, right. That's the picture of it. Right, right, right. This is our, our, uh, our SUV. Our I mean, I, I, I think that that's huge. You guys with a shovel. We could. Is everybody bring my camera? Oh what? my gosh, that's amazing. Picture of it in the garage. Wait, Ooh. that's literally it. Now, I want, oh, could you awesome. send it over? I want you to send it okay, over, let's, please. Guys, it's getting late. It seems like okay. we have it. Let's remove it. Just um, one? Yeah, yeah. Send it over. Just yes, send it over. Uh, we oh have my 11. God, we're removing that line? But I, I don't want to, that doesn't mean we get one less WPE ask. It means one of my lesser uh, that didn't make the top five shift up. I'm sorry, I have to defend my committee. We got the dog park. Remember, Jeff? We're going to put the dog park yep. in. 
That's fine, but then we have others as well if HK Park is gonna go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, well, I think that after the tow pound, moving up housing feels feels right. Let's let's mm -hmm. go yep. let's go below that if we can go to line 16. Um, we have now security see cameras, the resurfacing of the bike lane, the ferry service. I think Jeffrey. Wait, wait, wait. We're, oh my God. Wait, we're sort sorry. of. I'm, I'm sorry, letting you to Alan. Alan, I don't see any of the arts where the, like expenses. Or is that more expenses? Expenses. Gotcha. Okay. So anybody making a strong, a strong pitch for uh for any of these to be number 14? Otherwise, I well, think now we're, now we're missing 10 because the bike lane one was 10. So okay. we're Everything. Well, if I it's think number uh, 11, 12, so we're talking about 13. The, the bike lane should be 14 for sure. Eighth Avenue. Yeah, it's really dangerous. Okay, so bike lane becomes 13. Eighth Avenue bike lane. Yeah. Okay, okay 13. And then, do we want to? Is there anything no, here? Then you want the calls? you want the, the the security cameras for the school, right? Great, let's make that 14. Right. Um, what about, sorry, this one's kind of, was kind of, uh, oh, it's continuing support, Never mind. Yeah. Um, and then the ferry is 15. And the library. What about the library? Where's the, the library? Library is library an ongoing story. Oh, good fun, Alan. Huh? Yeah, the library is 16. I mean, just. Hmm? So, Janine, the one you're on now is 15? Yeah, this one is 15. And then the library is down 16. Two, that's 16. And then we have a, a Hell's Kitchen Park and a Packer truck. And I don't know. Which what we're going to replace the Hell's Kitchen Park ask with the resurfacing of the Do It Clinton dog run. We didn't do that yet, right? Okay. Nope. Okay, so is that 17? Yeah. Correct. And your truck is 18? Jesse, we haven't now in order. that yet, have we? What's this no, we truck? Have I'm waiting. So then, uh, can I say that it's uh, yeah. funding to existing trees for um, tree guards and tree improvements? That's 18? They, they responded to us that they wouldn't do it. They don't they do that. No. They don't do that to existing trees. Yeah. They okay. said no, so we're wasting exactly. our time. Okay. okay. Let's keep these in order, the WPE original order. So let's make that 19 and the one below it 20. Yeah. Jeffrey, can I ask what Jeffrey. we're... What else we had? No, Followed. Jeffrey. Oh, go ahead. Ooh, you want the rank, right, Maria? What else was left? No, no. I was just going to ask you, what were they fixing? Um, I don't remember at HK Park what needed to be fixed. I remember before COVID, they were fixing it. Was a, it was a request for a full COVID. renovation of the park. The complete renovation? Correct. Uh, Jeffrey, let me ask you something. Um, is the uh, running track more important than the dog run at this point in time as more people are outside trying to exercise and the dogs have to exercise also, but... Um, I'm fine with switching those, Alan. Yeah. Yep. So it, It's really, I, I went by there today. It's really a shambles. Right. No track. argument. It's dangerous. So just reiterate the change so that Janine can make it. So 19 becomes 17 and vice versa. OK. But then we Great. should put the dog run a like yeah. instead of Packer then. You know, like we should then put the dog run up front then, uh, up higher. I agree with Jeffrey and Alan, but I'm saying then we should put the dog run up higher. Higher than what, though? Because it's 19 now. Is it is it before the Packer truck or after right now? It's current. So do you want to make that 18 and the Packer truck 19? No. Yes. Yes. I don't think it makes a difference. They make it. Yeah, probably <laughs> doesn't. If, so yeah. let's go ahead and do that. Make make I mean I, I have to say it's kind of um in the lens four WPE requests tucked right at the, right at the bottom of our rank. Yep. Um, in a row when outside space, I know capital's long term. Um, yes, I see the bottom. I, I agree with Jeffrey in the in the in the visual there. Are you taking some kind of offense? 
Me, Bert? Well, I just want to no, be I'm completely I be, emotionless. I want to be practical and say, you know, I think we we can look to make some swaps, but but what about, for example, the ferry? Having one of those move up in place of the, where the ferry is. Should I'm I fine do? with that, Christine. That's fine with me, but don't put the dog the, the dog <laughs> in front of the ferry. I agree. I mean, this is where to me the issue of I'm a on the ferry park renovation. It's the reason that a full park renovation comes into play. I'm also going to play territorial here, and Chelsea's got a lot on this list in terms of parks. Mm. Chelsea gets and doesn't. Um, can I just ask, um, Janine? Can I see from the top again, just really quick? Sure. Thanks. And also, I think Jesse made a good point. If he, I don't know if he's still here. Um, yeah, if you could, you could keep going. Uh, or maybe he, someone else the made whole it list. about. Um, you know, the I big ask first, the things that can be done. Like if we ask for a dog park renovation, that can be a win that can be done. You know, when we're asking for something that's $20 million, you know, just as far as the big and the doable asks. But also remember that this list ultimately gets shared with their individual departments and, yeah. and right. themed right. that way. And so I think and they also know what's possible. So I think this is as much optics as it is about what is actually gonna get done. That's right. a great point. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, this dog, the dog park is not a dog park renovation. It's just uh, a fixing of the uh, resurfacing. A dog park renovation is gonna involve plumbing, it's gonna involve, involve uh, water, uh, yeah, all kinds yeah. of, you know, it's a whole big thing. It's not, what we're trying to do is just get, get, it, get the surface redone so people feel safe about it, right? I mean, well, I want to go. I want to go back. Maria made the suggestion I, about possibly switching the dog ground with the ferry. There seemed like there was some traction on that. Like, I would mean, vote yes as a dog lover. I did not suggest the dog. Oh, I love it, request. Maria. Good idea. Sorry, a, I a, it. <laughs> sorry, a W P E request that's at the bottom for Jeffrey yeah. to choose uh, with uh, the ferry request, and it seems like there was traction around that. So. Are, are we a go on that? Like, Jeffrey, can you isolate which one you want to do that with? How about the Hell's Kitchen Park? I mean, I'd much rather put Hell's Kitchen Park there the and Kitchen then put Park the dog not... run below the ferry. Um, and look, Leslie, we're going to we're going to fight on this, but four hundred thousand dollars doesn't get you a new park. I know, Jeffrey, I, I have a I, I have a seven year old. I go there all the time with her all the time. It we we the people who I live used there, to go there as a kid. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I guess we, it's interesting. I'm not I willing to saying that she is with you. I don't think she's fighting against you on that. So can we make the change? No, no, no. I'm saying that I, I love House Kitchen Park. I go there all the time. I was just there yesterday. We were gardening. It's just that I just don't think it needs to be renovated right now. In fact, right. we were saying how it just got renovated a few years ago. I would like, I would like since I, since the uh, the the uh, what is it called the uh, ferry is in trance, I would be ready to trade it for the uh, track, the Chelsea Park track where people are going to turn their ankles. So okay. Give up, go ahead, give Chelsea more parks. They've got Clinton <laughs> Park, they've got Clinton Park uh, on 20. No, it's 20th not more tent. parks, it's just- like, it's Christine, just I'm like, not arguing with you on this. Um, no, safe, well, you know, I like the idea of the Penn South basketball court. I mean, people from the, no. folks from the projects go there and play basketball. That's still Chelsea. I would rather do oh, the it's true. track. I would uh, where Chelsea if people are going to turn their ankles, I mean, at least it's a safety issue. <laughs> Okay, guys, yeah, we are. I, I feel like right. this is focus, not, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, this okay. is this is so. Flip a, flip a coin. Exactly. So uh, the track the is the most track practical. Park. Do the Chelsea okay. track. Park. So we're gonna switch. Right. Thank you for making the concession, Jeffrey. We're gonna switch ferry and Chelsea track. Yes. Okay, uh, so seventeen becomes fifteen. Uh, Ooh, that's fair. right. That's what we we're fighting yeah. about. One one position. Exactly. exactly. Yes. <laughs> okay. Big, I want to wrap big, this section up. We will send this back to everyone for a final review to catch things like what we just caught, which is you know an optics issue that sometimes you can't see when you're so up close. Um, and I'm going to suggest that we now move as quickly as possible through the expense budget or get as far as we can in the time we have. Don't you think we should have another meeting? No. I mean, this is like, a, this is a lot of work. Expense is even more complicated. Um, well, so are you proposing that we not even 
start with expense right now and move everything to another meeting, which. Yeah, uh, you guys have to present something to exec. Right. Let's do a little, let's try to get can we some, something. We can try. Like, we can try. Like, let's, okay. obviously it's not, we're, let's have enough that we can solidify a, an order of priorities, if not actual priorities, so that we can present okay. them to exec. You guys are really bold here. Okay, well, we now know what we're, approach we're taking, which is we do five at a time, and we say what's got to stay up at the top. So here we have um, uh, DOB code enforcement. Uh, dangerous intersections, broken elevators, uh, staff for homeless families, and uh, after school, I think it's after school enrichment. And then litter basket pickup. I Sorry. need to get back on my language Sorry. factor. That's okay. Yeah, litter yeah. basket. Uh, so yeah. using our past but language. Something, something's wrong. Something's wrong with this. ACEs yeah. number yeah. one. No, ACES is number one is not that. ACES is number one was the staffing for the remote property for the digital tech support or whatever. Yeah. It was. And, I, I and we need to bring over the one from that was capital. Oh, that's right. We have to bring that over. Oh, did that not? That was that put in capital, and that should have been expense. Yeah, there was something which it was, was a in capital digital subscription. That was for the licenses. To, uh, that was the licenses. Uh, so library, I, digital so library. Yep. That's actually it comes there. I don't know in uh, Leslie. I'll defer to Leslie, but um, and Alan, obviously, that um, they that has to be factored into Aces' this whole thing. But no, Aces' is number one expense was definitely was the was this tech support, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was true. It was the licenses so and then the tech support. Sorry for a second, Janine. Can you do a control find for tech support or just the word tech and let's see if it's somewhere else in this list? Yeah, so that's number two, so it's right here. Yeah, right okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so just, you're, are we agreeing that that was supposed to be number one? Should I switch yeah. it up? Alan? I think, I think the licenses were number one. No. Right? No, I think the tech support was number one and the licenses were number two. We're, we're number I two. Think just, is okay, correct. I mean, same, same difference. Same the, the licenses were just put in the wrong category. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, so let's make that a one and resort it. Um, wait. Oh. You can just cut and paste. Julia, so, yeah, you got to stop what you're doing and bring me the spelling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I have my daughter and she's making slime. And she has to go to bed and my husband's not. Um, I apologize. Oh. <laughs> okay, while, while that's happening, I want to... Um, Maybe we can say, uh, it seems based on our earlier conversations that including additional funding for the homeless families would, we would agree to keep that in the top priority and providing students or whatever the ACEs ask, the education ask remains priority. Right. Um, our elevators, the increased staffing level for trained and skilled mechanics to serve public housing, is that? Um, okay, it's skilled elevator helpers and mechanics. It should be helpers, H-E-L-P-E-R-S, and mechanics. Okay, is, is that, that are we no committing way. not to be in the top category for expense or we want to hold off on that? The only, thing, the only thing I don't feel, I mean, maybe expand code enforcement. I know that this is critical for, you know, limiting homelessness, but I would, I would maybe move that one below the, the group number one. I mean, personally, I would move everything. I would only keep um, the HHHS and ACEs request for number one, personally. Okay. I wanna see what two two has. The, you know, I keep thinking well, no, that number three. Litter, litter basket. Litter basket. Okay, I can be on board with litter basket, yeah. yeah. Again, because the language isn't there, I just want to confirm with WP, we're talking about service, right? We're paying, we're talking about staffing for yeah. litter to pick up, right? Yeah. Okay, that's the same thing that ACE made that a priority too, so. You know, we're talking about in the capital having new elevators, but you don't have, if you don't have skilled staff. I'm not saying it's not important. I just think that there may be, you know, other issues related to homelessness or, 
education that are going to come before. And I don't want to give up all of our top slots. That's nope. my feeling. Maria? Um, I don't have my own list up, but I, uh, the one that says three there, I thought that was um, a housing request. It's not, I guess, for code enforcement, the top one, if you scroll that, up, that, Jimmy. That was across the board. It was, it, it's been, it was, it, it's been a Chelsea, it's been a Clinton Hills Kitchen mm -hmm. one, it's been Chelsea. It's, okay. it, it's about the special districts. So it's about finding, hiring two dedicated inspectors specifically for the special district enforcement. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's a long, it's a multi-committee request, but I also agree that in the, during this time, if we're going to prioritize COVID related, you know, top issues, yeah. it might not be the number one. No, it's, uh, uh, I agree. Let's scroll down to the next set. Okay. Um, uh, hey guys, it's Dolores. Sorry, I hadn't been able to chime in. You guys have been doing a great enough job, but um, I, I, I disagree, Jesse, about moving it down because as we get into where um, there's a harassment on the rise and landlords are trying to find ways to monetize their, their buildings when they're losing uh, tenants to push old tenants out, um, I think it's really important to advocate for anything that helps keep affordable housing affordable, which is maintaining the affordable stock that we already have. So I'm a little bit worried about moving, I, I think, moving I that think down. We need, then I think we need to reword it because what um, yeah. uh, I think we want to talk about then the uh, the DOB's tenant tenant advocacy department. We know who's run by, who's actually, I don't know if anybody everybody knows this, is run by Sarah Desmond now. And so who's, oh, you yeah, know. That's right. Right, so who's, you know, former HCC executive director, former board member of community board four, former housing co-chair. So I think we wanna use, change the language. So if that's what people want, that's fine. I just think we wanna make it clear what we're saying then, because I think this is a little bit different than special district stuff is a little bit, a little more nuanced than, ten, than tenant protection and tenant, you know, tenant harassment stuff. I, I, I think you're right. I, the focus, I mean, the, the end result is to what you just spoke to. Um, if, if there are other folks on the, on the task force that don't have a problem with maintaining that, I'm happy to rework the language so that it falls into tenant protection. And it is very much in keeping with what a lot of people are fearing right now. I think it's more important I would... to have uh, tenant protection and emphasize that in terms yeah. of COVID. I agree. What were you going to say? I agree we should change the language if that's the, the mm -hmm. desired impact. I still would ask if we could just hold it. I, I'm curious to see what's in the group two of other mm -hmm. key services. And it may be that it's in the top five. I'm not saying it, it can't be. I just, if we've been following this path of what is absolutely must be and holding everything else, it's not clear to me that's an absolutely must be. Gotcha. Okay, let's, let's go down and see. Okay, this. so number two, list two. Thank you. We have um, on on uh, in uh, line eleven. We have the text say homeless receive recidivism. Yeah, I think oh, that sounds like uh, you know it's a it's a crime. I just I think we need to change that language. Right. That's an important. Well, I don't know what other word to use, it's about helping them break the cycle of being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand what you mean. I just think the word, re -entering homelessness? The word is, is, is bizarre. It is, a, it is, it connotes a negative um, exactly. sentiment. I agree. So we can work on that language. Do you figure yeah. that out? I think this one should move up as a matter of fact. I think this one should move up in number one section. Okay, so, so just have... to review what, so, because not everyone I think has it right in front of them. We have, um, Alternative use of empty buildings, offices and theaters, expand homelessness prevention, expand code enforcement, conduct traffic and parking studies, increase residential recycling and libraries. So I think what we've heard at a minimum is that expand homelessness prevention and the digital libraries the should go up. Yeah. So yeah. we can put, couldn't put twos on those, I guess is been what we've been doing. Um, can I say Can one I thing? I'm sorry on the on the moving up of the homeless one. Is the problem? And Dolores and Maria can probably explain. This. 
is the problem the budget or is the problem the management? And I know obviously you say, well, you can throw more money at it and it, and it, you know, it helps the management problem. But right now we're in a problem of not budget. In fact, the money is going back and forth and all around here with these homeless mm -hmm. shelters and these hotels. It's more the problem of management. And I'm just afraid we're saying, you know, okay, here, expand the funding and that's gonna solve. So I Leslie, think, I don't think that our budget request is saying this resolves it, but I think that you we need to continue to advocate for funds to homeless issues. The whole idea and concept around people saying defund the police is really about reallocating resources. Right. And if we can put as much resource to preventing homelessness, which includes the protections, et cetera, and all of that, um, I think that we, we do a lot more um, uh, to get people off the streets uh, than, than to, to, to increase enforcement and things like that of, of, of police think, and things like that. I'm very specific what Leslie's saying. Programming. I'm sorry, I see what Leslie is saying, which is maybe we want to change the language there to say, you know, uh, increase the, the, the management technique, you know, the management this, caliber. This ask, this ask isn't about that. This, it, and, and I'm, no, Maria should, I mean, it's expand GED completion programs and job readiness and training. So this isn't about. about this is not about the management of the homeless okay. shelter. Yeah, I think, I think we're talking about doing social support yeah. for people leaving the shelters leaving the homeless hotels right. and maintaining their independence. Can, can I make a bridge, bridge this two things? I think what we're trying to say is that what we have completely realized now with the, certainly with the temporary shelters, what we're used to is a shelter coming in and providing services that we can really understand and wrap our brains around. What we are having now is these shelters coming in, no longer having the facilities or the capabilities to run these, run these, have these services and provide them adequately, right? And so what I think we're trying to say is in light of what's going on right now, programs such as what is listed here need to be funded better to be expanded and better funded with the new situation we're in it's not so much the management of the mm. shelters themselves yeah. because mm. those are just literally just beds and beds and rooms and people provide maybe some social social work you know case management on site but where these guys tell me if i'm wrong uh, maria is that a lot of times these folks are going off site to other places they have other programs they're involved in and that's what we're talking about funding yeah, I would say, yeah, I, I would say that. We'll word it that way later. We'll word it that way later to explain the connection to the, the current crisis that we're all in. Okay. Thank okay. you. But this is not yeah. what it says, Jesse. Well, we're talking about not line 11, right? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to say, though. Line 11. Yeah, 11. So, this is about not in the shelter. This is after the shelter. No, it's both. No, it's both. So I think this was pre-COVID and then the, the one of the is in order to decrease homelessness, um, recidivism, or re-entering homelessness, um, having these services in place, which you can see they're really about long-term success um, mm -hmm. when you're talking about job training, education. Um, and when people, when families move out of shelter, um, usually they, they have no support system in place. And that's the idea of having uh, okay. you know, case management three months after exiting shelter. So I mean, and, of, and, and, and of, to Jesse's point, so, so um, no, I just... Instead of prevention, I use like the word support, Jesse's support services, not prevention. I, I think we can change the language. I don't yeah, think, we can work think on this that. is important and needs to be right. in, the, in the top category. So I think for sure, for sure that line should move up. Okay. In in the interest of time, I'm wondering if we can get through the next section and then re and then reprioritize. So we will essentially have our top five for sure locked in before exec. I think, Jesse, if you're okay with that, I think that would be at least Fine. notable progress. So if we can scroll down, oh, so let's let's put uh, bees. Actually, sorry, uh, Janine, can we put bees and everything that still is blank unless anyone objects? And then. Um, and then now let's do threes and then let's re-rank the whole, this whole one, two, three section and we'll call it an I, Okay. The one, one caveat to that is I just want to make, remind people that we have made uh, expanding homeless outreach programs and we put it into CS because in the years previous to COVID, there's been so much 
funding put towards that and they have doubled up on their their staff and things like that so i just want to remind people that that's still down at the very bottom and i know that homelessness is obviously a, a major concern so i don't know if we just want to just shift that out <laughs> and move that to the top and i don't mean to complicate things jessica i just yeah uh, thank you for raising it i think i i mean i would to the extent that it's not in other uh that ask is not in other uh requests here i personally would feel that we should make move it out of cs um and into Agreed. the top five it's not on the list it's not going to be on the page list. I would move up, I would uh, select line 21, the mechanical broom, line 20, and line uh, 17. We already have, so this is, there's been multiple times that multiple committees have opined on the same subject. WPE also took up um, litter basket collection and had it as item one under expense. Yeah. And it's been maintained in that way. Yeah. So this can be deleted. Yeah. Line, yeah. Can so be which row is that, Jeffrey? Just line, sorry, line twenty can be deleted. Great. It's our. It's the. It, it's. I it's can, WP the, first ask. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So sorry. Reiterate. We just we said um, seventeen should get a three. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, I would say twenty. Yep. And then everything else can be behind that. Okay, so let's put C's in the remaining. And if we can sort just this section, is everyone okay with that? Let's try to get this in line, noting that we're also gonna be adding continuing support for homelessness as an actual number. Uh, so we have to add that. Can in you second. move down? What is, what is after that? Oh yeah. Forget. Wait, I'm sorry, why are, oh geez. Yeah, Maria. I was just gonna say, um, we're picking the street sweepers over supporting restaurants and business owners. I think we are saying we definitely should move it up because everybody was concerned about sanitation, right? Right. I'm not, but saying, that, I'm not saying that the next thing is, is, is out. I'm just suggesting that those are definitely in. The, the sanitation most people are concerned with is not with, so much street garbage. Yeah. It's, it was picking up. Sanitation is one, the basket, the basket, right. cups, yeah. and then residential. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So forget agree. about this. No one's complaining, oh, there's garbage in the street. Okay. That's so are we leaving row 20 as yeah. we're moving yeah. it from three to C? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. But then I think uh, what uh, Maria, uh, Maria saying. is saying is that we should take. That's a three. Row. No, I agree. I, I I agree with that. Right. Okay. okay. Now let's do. Let's sort it now. Okay. Sort it. Oh. And we are talking about changing some of the language, aren't we? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. While we're doing this, guys, I'm sorry. While I was uh, inflicting corporal punishment on my child, <laughs> what? you shouldn't be telling saying that to sorry. me. Sorry, is this recorded? Yes. yes. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it's on YouTube. <laughs> you have you have no idea what's going on right here. Um, that's okay. I, I I missed it. I'm sorry. I know the Aces thing was um, the digital subscription was moved to expenses. Was that put up there? I, I'm yeah. guessing it was. I apologize if I missed. No, it. we're gonna we're gonna review everything top down now. So if you don't catch it, we mm, made a mistake, sure. but it should be here. Thank you. So yes. so I think there's this question. Can we actually add a line, Janine? Um, we're really putting mm -hmm. you in here. Excuse me. But of um, add a row rather. Um, I don't care where, but somewhere in the ones, I guess. Um, that we can decide how we want to prioritize for continuing support for homelessness outreach. I think we can just say reason homelessness outreach, and then I'll leave it to you guys where you want to put that. Um, well, I, wish, I think we should put this one number one. Yeah, I think so too. That can be just a... So let's, in column H, put wait one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah. Jesus, slow down, okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna put a one there. Yeah. Is uh, 
to, is, is it another homelessness issue? Is it the tech support for families and students? I would pick, um, I would pick tech support for students and families. Uh, no, I, really, I should probably be picking um, the other homelessness issue, but I feel like the tech support is needed now. Okay, let's put that as a straw man too. Is three homelessness, the, uh, the placement support for homeless families? Yes, what about litter basket? I think and then I would put litter baskets. baskets. Yeah. And I, I want to say something about the litter basket because we had language that we eliminated down below about $8 million for overtime, et cetera, et cetera. I think there are two things about the litter baskets. One, we want them, we want restoration of what was cut, plus, we want more than what was originally there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Our, our request was originally was to baseline the $8 million that the, that the council has to do every year. That was really the request. So I think we were saying we're going back to pre-COVID cuts, right? Or pre, you know, yes. this 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 current yes. budget cycle cuts, you know, and that that it gets baselined. I think that's what the language. But didn't we want more than what we were getting? No, we were we were asked we we had got more. We had got more than what we were okay. getting, and okay. that that's the eight million. And then which was paid in overtime and we want it to be based on just see you're going to put all this text in reason and all that stuff of course christine right and then we're going to put it in number three janine yeah we will, we'll make sure it's cleaned up okay yeah no column three doesn't have the right number for column h doesn't have the right number for what no it should be three for the litter and the other homelessness is four no 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 the other homelessness no. is the same three I said, oh, really? said three. You yeah. said that, Christine, but I don't okay. think there was agreement. Oh, I thought I, mean, I, was, I agreed with Christine. <laughs> yes, somebody said yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I remember yes. hearing three in the now, hour. Now that's a lot of yeses. So let's, we can come back to it if we want to do it. If, let's, okay. let's move ahead and then come back. So is, okay. is, Number five. is five homelessness or is five uh, digital library? Homelessness. Digital libraries. Homelessness. Did you, do we have three homelessness? It's it's kind digital of digital libraries. Digital libraries. Okay. And take take out TCRWP. Yeah, we'll we'll clean Please. that up. Look, okay. folks, homelessness versus digital libraries. Yeah. But there are three. It's a lot. The dig, the, the homelessness is is at, at least they, in our. If they don't if they don't if they don't get digital libraries, they could be wind up homeless. So at least oh, digital libraries, you know. <laughs> Okay, let's let's make it's a prevention. It's a it's a major prevention of homelessness, or this possible homelessness. Okay, let's education, make education, education. Remember, okay. this is all yeah. going to two different agencies. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, let's yeah. yeah. so homelessness. Digital libraries. Seven. Let's continue. Digital let's library. make homelessness in line seven six. Let's make I think home delivered meal seven. Yeah. yeah. And uh, can you scroll down a little bit? Oh, wait, this is the last one. So this would be eight. Yeah. Okay. Anything in the lines that follow, if Janine, you want to scroll down, that feels like it is absolutely a nine and a 10. What was the matter? Uh, restaurant? uh, restaurants just became, restaurants just went right. in. I'd like to move up the uh, fix the 31 intersection to somewhere like this one. Yeah. 12. Make it the next one. I'll make it nine. Yeah. Okay. I also want to advocate for um, uh, line fourteen. The yeah, I was just thinking about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also want to advocate for uh, the line is around. It was for recycling. Um, it's to put recycling on par with um, regular trash pickup. Um, it's a little bit further down in here, but we should consider the environment and um, and a WPE request. In, yeah, in I, I have a question Amen. about that. Amen Definitely. to the recycling. So, so you want to have recycling every pickup time? No, it's to, it, it's. I think there's only one right now. The right. request is going right. to be for Tuesday, Thursday. So twice. Can we, a Thursdays and Saturdays. Can we, and then line 17, I'd like to put it next after but, that in number 12. 
Can because I know it's going to happen. Can 13 be number 11? Can 13 be number 11? Oh, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. OK, so that's 11. So everything shifts down, and then 11 yeah. becomes 12, and 12 well, becomes 13. 13, and then line 6, 5. Uh, yeah, what about 15? Yeah. Right. What's on 15? 15 is about? Uh, Decrease usage of commercial space. I don't know that this is very tangible. I can't see. It was a, it, that was from Clue. We wanted a study of. Yeah. OK. Yeah, I don't know. I'm... Yeah, alternative well, we'll creative use is going to be, you know, put homeless people in there. Um, can you just check, Janine, that we didn't miss anything above nine that's gone on um, enforcement? Where does, is that further? Yeah, is that do it as the, next, the next one. That's so that's what? 14. 14, yeah. I think we're good after, with that, right? We're close okay, to 20. We have, we have uh, code enforcement on 16. Maria, what were you saying about the after school programs? You wanted that. You put it up there. It's no, I was there. just agreeing with Jessica that it should mm -hmm. be up a little higher. Yeah, when she had selected it. Which one? Okay, let's, um, since, we're, since we've, we're almost in the home stretch, can we, Janine, can you resort one, like we did earlier, one, let's see it in order and make sure we're comfortable. While she's with, resorting, I have a question. Yeah. After school, are there after school services? I'm just asking that yeah, question. Yeah, I know. When we're, you know, we're um, hybrid, we're remote, are there after school programs now? I think a lot, it a lot of it is, I think is remote. Also, oh, sorry. So there's after school, but it's remote. Yeah, there's some that are live. There, it some is live. Some is live. Okay, so so oh, there's yeah. still our, that's all I wanted to know. There's still our after school. Distancing, program. distancing. Okay, so to go through this, we have homelessness outreach. We have tech support for families. Placement. Uh, uh, litter. Litter, followed by digital devices, excuse me. Followed by GED programs and social workers, meals, Over eight. meals followed by economic relief for outdoor dining, intersections, after school, after school, I don't know. I wonder if after school should be further up because it's the kids, I mean, right? It's the kids who are, mo who can't afford alternative programs who are going to be yeah. most and that's well, the problem right that's now i but agree with you but the only thing i say is going back to what you pointed out in capital this will get distributed to agency and yeah. the list yeah. will yeah. be yeah drunk yeah. up yeah okay. yeah i hear you okay uh remind me of that when people when i push back again tomorrow well it'll we'll be a top talking point for you <laughs> <laughs> um so jeff okay, you're then. asking for you're asking for two days recycling not just one right? correct and do we do anything with the organics? That didn't make it, but you know, Bert, I'd be happy to have it on here. It, it, we could put it after what the what we're up to sixteen, I think. I would that put was it next on that in team. line for WPE request. Okay. Well, looking, let's look at what's left here. Then below, we have uh, permitting. Uh, Alternative use of empty space, better math future needs. Forget about that, the decrease. I think line 19 should be the next one. I agree. Great. 16? 16. 16. Uh, down. What about, someone asked about the arts. What about uh, cultural organization? Yeah, the, here it line is. Line 21, do we want to make that 17? Important. That is just a, uh, Except, yeah, it's not it's relevant nothing. in the time. No, it's nothing. It Although, seem... you know, if there's a lot of empty space. Distribution. Can you expand? I'm sorry, can you expand the, the, the it, Janine, I can't read the whole thing. What, 21? This is. Yeah. This yeah. was the study we were doing about. The... I thought we got yeah. that. I thought we got that too. Yeah, we did get this. Great. So this Let's is... take it off. 
Sí, sí. Sí, sí. I mean, oh, it is a continued support. Okay. There is an issue in terms of cultural facilities in the pandemic, but we don't have anything about that here. But that's a real issue. It's a considerable it's not issue. It's about, you know, rehearsal space or this or yeah. that. Not just facilities. Need, but they don't need rehearsal space. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's artists. Support in general. Of if, you know, if, they, if the theater well, is collapsing, Exactly. That's what the issue is. And we why, don't we, why don't we change yeah. our section where we are talking about the restaurants? Go up a little bit. Yeah, here. That was no, where's above that? Seven, I think. Here, here, here. Boop, boop, boop. That's Lower than that. There. Lower than that. Yeah. It's right. It's it's row nine. What? Row nine. Yeah. Should we? Should we include in there say support for restaurants and 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 um, artistic, you know? That's going to go to a different agency then. Totally different agency. Yeah. Um, this is specifically about creating um, programs for the uh, support of the heaters, bubbles. Yeah, no, I know. It's yeah, not, yeah, it's not this. But there is. But maybe we create a new line that nobody I, did. Jeffrey. That I agree. It's it's sort of it's under the federal um, it's the federal title of the bill, but the Save Our Stages effort, right? Like figuring out how we can incorporate asks we've made in the past to our culturals, because it's but it's not just it's not just stage venues. It's also um, museums, museums, costume, exactly. Museums, costume designers, costume yeah. designers, um, tech. Yeah. Yeah. tech yeah. By the way, I think that's a, if everybody yeah. agrees, can can someone take charge of this? putting together the language and then we yeah, just talk and about Yeah, and we should talk stuff. about jobs in the arts, you know? Yeah. That's the idea is to support jobs in the art, uh, in, yeah. the, in the art the space. The industry is devastated. Yeah. Yep, yep. And we should have something here about that. Absolutely. Okay, I just okay so given the, yeah. given the time and we made a lot more progress, we should have worked under a tighter deadline on the first round since we flew so far so fast with this one. Um, I think unless people have immediate reactions to what's left here, um, we can kind of put together, put assign some further values based on the knowledge of these past conversations. We have to clean these up in terms of the edits that were suggested as well as just general typos. Um, and as we're saying, also, if you have other suggestions for language, whether it's who will take on this cultural piece Aces. This is, we'll take it on. Great. Although it is also. What's the number? Can we create a number, a, a row for it though, if, if it doesn't exist? Yeah. It should be below the restaurants. So let's have it be number nine. Uh huh. Um, Good. That's. Uh, sorry, is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's number nine now. It would be yeah. number nine and everything else moves down. Great. Good. Um, okay, then. Can I ask something? I, it looks like a oh, the time, but I thought I saw something for seniors. Um, there's yeah, senior meals. There are meals. We put that at number seven. And there was something also oh, about. When you can, Jenny. I'm sorry, what about the court? How many more expense mm -hmm. items are there? I think there are like yeah, four can we at, just the see at the bottom. This goes up to what, 40 or 41 or something? Yeah, I mean, we have more, there's more than that's on this list. This is just the top five from each. So okay. we were just focusing on the first 30 and then yeah. the rest would all get worked out. There was something about seniors somewhere else, but. It was, it was about helping seniors to age in place. Yeah, that's why we asked for pandemic. Oh, this case it's management one? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That's what I was referring to, sorry. I don't have a suggestion right now where it should go. So I think we should, I mean, Jesse, I, 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 I don't know if you think we need another meeting and if around exec or like if this is enough to present to exec and after, before or after we could rehuddle or huddle again to, to finalize. Um, but I also think that we could probably get pretty close and, and share this and then maybe just do a quick call where people share any specific feedback. 
Um, yeah, no, you have plenty enough to 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 final for to present to exec because I think you have the you have the top you have the top thirty uh, capital, and you right now you have close to the top twenty expense. Um, if we, I guess the question is two things. I mean, listen, your task force is made up of mostly exec members, <laughs> so um, uh, uh, so they'll be the ones that will be you know talking about and deciding on it. Uh, the other quick thing I just wanted to touch on that I know I came late onto the meeting was was the the any edits to the statement of district needs has that yeah. been? We discussed that at the top, um, and everyone agreed. Well, I agreed that I would send out again an email with people's suggestion uh, with the assignments to remind people which sections they had agreed to review. Right. Um, and I asked that we have all those edits um, ASAP so that we could have that document revised for exact. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Um, yeah, no. So I think okay. have, I, I think we can. Well, between now and Monday, we'll have to work hard to try to clean up what we have. I think the question is whether this group right now feels that what we have listed under, or at least up to now with whatever's remaining is enough where we can go ahead and just do it, you know, do the, do the expense like we'll do the, like we'll do the capital, which is that everything past 30 will, will, you know, clean up and make sure it makes sense, but it'll just sort of all be what it was sort of last year. I, th I think what would be helpful is that if you can send us a draft of the uh, order or the new order, and then if anybody catches something that we totally forget, forgot, you know, we can raise yeah, it. That's that's fine. I just I, I guess my question was as long as I can definitely we can definitely do that. Um, uh, I guess it, we'll do we'll do that and we'll send that. And so yeah. I think what we'll do is, it, you know, it, it, it will. We'll do our best to get it to you mon by Monday, right. um, and then if we feel like we need another meeting uh, to to you know hash out some uh, some other priorities, uh, then you let the group will let us know. Yeah. But I think you have enough to get execs approval. Yeah, since you have half of exec here. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. I know this was um, challenging. Wait, 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 you are a committee. You need to vote. Ah. Move to recommend. Uh... Oh, wait, can I ask a quick question? So if I, after I look at the draft that you send, if I want to suggest a place for the other program for expanding services for seniors, can I do that? Or I can't do that later? You, you can do that at exec. Okay. Thank you. Move to recommend the formed list for adoption. Second. Third. <laughs> I'm in favor. Yes. Great. Any opposed? Anyone abstaining? Enjoy the debate. I was okay. Can we give a big hand to Janine, please? Keep your fingers yeah, crossed. Janine, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Is your daughter thank you. okay? Thank you. Thank you. She's okay, by the way. She's okay. <laughs> I love her eyes. Feel better. Get some rest. Bye. Bye, everybody. Everyone. Feel better, Jesse. Thank, Thank you. you.